only known like here. Uh, that's legends for LA. But maybe now. Here. But like you talking about back in the, in the 90s and shit? Yeah. Everybody was just blowing up. Everybody was cracking. Yeah. I mean, even, even I, I feel like the smallest groups was like in L.A. was like uh, even like the um, uh, the Twins. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that is. The Twins is, uh, the Twins is, they part of uh, L.A. from Long Beach. Yeah. So Long Beach, okay. that again, the G-Funk era had, you know, obviously the Warren yeah. G. Nate dog, yeah. Snoop. Yeah. And then you had uh, Dog Pound. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? After that, you would have like, remember the LBC crew? Yeah. Somebody somewhere Best beware of my crew um, I feel like uh, I know that Yeah uh, All I know That's a group LBC. of niggas You got the East Siders yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying yeah. uh, You got Dove Shack. Dove Shack Dove Shack would be uh, LA Legends Okay. Does that uh the summertime and the yeah, that's all I'm saying. That bro, that was oh, okay. six grade. Oh, <laughs> Brother, six grade, that was the biggest record, period. So bro. you class of like you bro. class of two thousand and two. two. Yep. Okay, yeah. But y'all wouldn't consider them as LA legends, huh? Because y'all LA legends. Well they part of legends. Like, they part of, they're not LA legends, they they part of like them niggas ain't walking around like, oh shit, that's the twins. Yeah, oh but shit. That, but that song is so legendary. That song is all is Leah Dove Shack is from LA. You might not know who they is, but that shit play on the East. Yeah. Coast, nigga, they know what that is. You going like, if, if right if, if L if Long Beach had a uh, now Long Beach is the city alone has enough savages niggas that artists that they could do a whole concert together. Yeah. That's led by G. Uh, that's led by yeah. Snoop. And one thing I yeah. peeped, I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like me being in L. A. It's like so Long Beach is y'all San Jose. It's like when you Kinda, talk to people from yeah. L.A. Mm-hmm. and like on the other side, like L.A., yeah. they the be only, like, I don't go to Long Beach. I don't know shit about Long Beach. The yeah. only thing, it's when it comes to the gang shit, little, uh-huh. Long Beach is respected, for sure. Mm. And the music, obviously, because Snoop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Snoop is the ambassador of uh, Southern California, really, really. Uh-huh. Dre and Snoop. Yeah, Dre from Compton. Sure. You know and so, so Long Beach, San Jose, cause I, I, went, I, I lived up there for nine years. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I, went to, I went to Berkeley. I went to Cal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So... I, I guess like my second home I got a lot of family And homies up there and shit uh-huh. So uh, San Jose to us Was like hey, Let's drive 45 minutes To yeah. San Jose And fuck with the bras On the campus <laughs> yeah, and shit. That's, what, that's what But that's we all we but going to But you don't to... think LA niggas look at Long Beach like nah, that Nah nah not that bad Not that niggas bad Niggas ain't go to Long nah, Beach not that fuck bad. with the hoes niggas ain't Oh you do Nigga Long Beach got but, nigga, Long Beach got hoes It got bitches yeah. Yeah. But, but also And it's a little it's, Getaway But, you, know, but you in Long Beach Nigga you I ain't never felt unsafe in South in San Jose. Shit, you got San Jose fucked up. Okay, them niggas be tripping out there. Okay. EPA, I know EPA. EPA is different. Is different. It's it's different. Also, but San Jose got a lot of migos out there. Okay, they fuck around. Let's get See, Samoans. In Samoans. Oh yeah, yeah, I get that. You know what I'm saying? So, but Long Beach is like that too. Yeah, Long Beach, so got a lot Long, of Beach, Long Beach, it's diverse, too. right? Yeah, but it's niggas. It's, long, it's, it's a gang of Samoans. Yep. It's a gang of uh, fucking Asians, too. But yep. it's niggas. Asians. And it's all Crips. That's you know what I'm San Jose. Yep, that's Ain't that San Jose? Maybe yep, I think because, no I think because <laughs> you're from there and you know. I, I've been up there, too. But I know the I know a lot about the Bay, right? Uh-huh. I lived up there for for years. But i never been in, I never kicked in the San Jose outside of going to the Ambassador and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got I don't shut even down. know what that is. Hey, yeah, you too. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you, Ambassador yeah. Lounge. Ambassador, that's oh, E-40 okay. shit, nigga. Oh, Now, okay. don't get it twisted. E-40. Yeah. Over there in San Jose, in that club, you getting beat up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You getting, uh, if you if, if, if it get out of, out, out of hand, nigga. My you, older sister was talking about that You can get stomped on like, yeah. yeah. So, a lot of niggas traveled over there, and then for San Jose, it was a place for niggas that's from San Jose to really kind of like go fuck with it, you know, and shit like that. Like have that club, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like how how we'll have a club in the city are kind of a club in the O, you know what I mean? But so like, niggas say, I ain't got no clubs like that for real. Yeah, you talking about San Jose? Nah, Oakland. Oakland. Oh, nah, Oakland you, can, you can't keep a club past a like, year and a half, nigga. Yeah, it's yeah, so right. Nah, nigga, I didn't been to all of them, bro. Right now, though. The town, Is it? I didn't been to. Uh, that's the only place to party, bro. Like, nigga. The what? town? Man, the city boosy as hell. Are you gonna drive that forty five minutes to San Jose? You better drive your ass to San Jose then. Cause yeah, it ain't... You better stay there too. Nah, nigga. Hey, that's cause you twenty eight. You, <laughs> you twenty eight. You said? hotel. You twenty nine. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Damn, nigga. Yeah. You're young, bro. Yeah. I was up but there, the t- nigga. But the tell, if you kind of like from the bay, if you're not from the bay, you trying to go party. It's kind of like I sketchy. Think, I think you the know bay go. will be hella fun for people that's not from the bay. I think it's bunk if you from the bay, cause you yeah, gonna know but, everybody. But it's but it's uh, I know, and that's the fun part about it but if you don't know nobody it's like you got that dark cloud that you think about Oakland it's kind of sketchy it's like hold on what's really going on you don't feel safe no if you from if you from there I feel like if you from the Bay Area you know too much about Oakland to the point where you can't even enjoy yourself I feel this I feel in the Bay 
nigga, if you tripping, it's gonna be a problem. I ain't never yes. had a problem in the Bay, right? Mm -hmm. I've been living up there for years. You know what See, saying? yeah, we finna talk yeah. about it, man. Yeah, oh, nigga. Man. We, hey. Me? All right, man. Well, check it out, man. Look. <laughs> um, what's happening? It's your boy, Louis. Are we bro. going? Yeah, yeah, we finna start right hey, now. Hold on, yeah, man. It's, a, it's your boy, Louis Bell. It's the Kelly Kickback. You understand me? Yeah, sure. I got my boy, Jamal True Love. How you feeling, man? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm big kicking it, man. Just chilling, man. You know, I got my shorts on. It's hot outside. It is hot yeah, to my You understand Indeed. me? We got a special guest. I said, well, my shorts. In this shit. thing, you understand me? <laughs> LA is on, you know what I'm man, talking about? It's cracking. Y'all give a big round of applause. You didn't know, you didn't see him. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing him up like he finna perform on stage. Type <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Uh -huh. Everybody, the lady look good as shit. Yeah. What's up, man? Y'all yeah, start clapping right now. Y'all give it up for Louis Bell. Y'all give it up for Louis Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give it up for the one and only Big Job, man. It's cracking, man. Me. To the man. We gotta get another. We gotta. Yeah. Love, man. Yeah. Love, yeah. love. Yeah. Well known all through the internet. You got a million subscribers. Man, it's a blessing, YouTube. bro. It's a blessing, man. Yeah, the Many humble subscribers shit. on YouTube, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Self made, man. Self -made, appreciate it. Too. Appreciate it. That's that's man. It's so hard to get a million subscribers on YouTube. How long you been putting videos out? Uh, officially, like on on a weekly basis, twenty seventeen, about six years. Six years straight yeah. on a weekly basis. On yeah, a weekly basis, I told myself, man, I was inconsistent for years. I told myself, I gotta keep. I got. I'm gonna do this shit every week. And put as many videos as I can up a week until something happens. All right, so you say since 2017? Yeah. Okay, so consistent. Consistent. So yeah. when did it start before then? When you wasn't Man. being consistent? Man, I had a I had a camera, nigga, freshman year in college. Okay. And I was shooting shit, shooting a little funny shit before YouTube ever existed. There yeah. was no Vine. There was no none of that before shit. Before YouTube existed. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga hey, he can't even <laughs> imagine <laughs> life nigga, what without was YouTube. Nineteen ninety nine. Nah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, you smart, nigga. Yes, yeah. nigga. I know yeah. my shit. Yeah. That's, That's, the year I, <laughs> That's the year I graduated, man, yeah. from high school. And That's um, dope. yeah, bro. And I went up to school, and uh, I had a camera. And my mom bought me a camera for my my uh my eighteenth birthday. Yeah, and because she knew I wanted to study film yeah. in college. So she bought me a little camcorder, a little, hand, like a little Sony camcorder, and that was the only thing I wanted. I got that, some tapes, and some batteries, nigga. What's I'm up? on there, yeah. That's how you I'm know he's serious when he wants some technology. Right. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I knew I was serious about coming when I bought a laptop. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? I'm uh -huh. like, oh, I didn't change my life right. officially. I bought a laptop. Yes. You know, you nigga, he's caught a nerve for having a laptop. This square ass nigga. Look at this nigga. Trying to learn this shit, nigga. That's so true. Like, I really didn't get into, like, technology until... Nigga, MySpace, bro. Because yeah. anytime yeah. before it was it was like Boosie, like, oh yeah, you know how to type. You Black know Planet I mean? for me, nigga. Yeah. Black Planet. Black too. Planet. Exactly. Yeah. Black Planet. His That's nigga don't know nothing time. about that. <laughs> <laughs> he like, nah, nigga, I don't know about Instagram, nigga. No, I'm a MySpace nigga. MySpace, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. I'm a yeah. top six. Yeah. Yeah. Top six. Yeah. Time yeah. Tom in that bitch, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Man, and the homies. Broad in my top. You feel me? Yeah. Player. You put the little baddest little shit that you got in your little your little crew and put them up at top. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm one I'm that era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was gonna blow up on and music on MySpace. Like, oh, I can put my music on there, you know, I get my yeah. followers you know shit yeah. like that but i mean i think maybe a little before that before it was myspace it was like first social media the party line yeah the party, party line. line party line party bro, line, bro. I used to, nigga be sneaking on the phone sneaking on I mean, the phone the rotary nigga pants yeah. at the rotary nigga i'm yeah. over here calling it in nigga trying to get in the room hey, nigga, did you go to up. like did you go to pay phones and get the code <laughs> yeah. nigga we yeah. get like a gang of codes <laughs> because you only, if you're doing this shit for free, it's only about what, half an hour or hour? Yeah, it was, nah, it was a half an hour. A half an hour of time to call and chat yeah. chat with chicks and shit like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we would go to different, all the homies had their phone. Like, let's, let's go, let's, let's go to Lewis' house. Nigga, we're going to get a code from his line. Let's go to your house, get a code from your line. Then we use them all up. Now we're going to pay phones and shit. Yeah. And getting codes from their lines, nigga. For real? That's what Y'all got any wild... Uh, a uh, party yeah. line story. Hell yeah, nigga. What's Hell the wildest yeah. thing that ever happened? Nigga. You ever met up with a girl from the party line? Of, of course. Yes. Really? Of course. Found and parties, that's a, and found parties and everything. The, the nigga parties. Hey, but be careful. Uh -huh. Yep. Be careful. Yep. Depending on where you're from. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nigga, you get your ass set up. Them niggas are beefing oh, on there yeah. too. Niggas just oh, yeah. Oh yeah. The same way niggas is on social media now, like Instagram, like beefing and shit like that. Same thing in there. Used to go into this, like into this chat. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I like, remember. Like, I any nigga from here, nigga, fuck y'all. Yeah. That's how shit. Little, niggas though. giving yeah. addresses and all. Yeah. Types Pull of up, shit, nigga. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. acting like I was grown on the party line. Nigga, I had to be ten. Yeah. This nigga said ten. I'm calling. What's up with y'all, nigga? Because I 
thought it was like a gang. I really was wasn't on there trying to really knock some and meet up with somebody because yeah. I know I'm a kid. Oh, but yeah. I, but I knew I'm nah. like, oh, it's real. People really talking on Hey, there. Chicks will give you the address. Pull up. For real. For real. Okay, you pull up That's a gang of niggas and shit. I ain't say, oh, y'all can come in here. Yeah. All right, some of niggas want to sit back, bro. We about to go up in the house kick You got a party line story? Yeah, nigga, got a few of them. What's your wildest party line the story? Wildest, um, some jack shit. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, a chick had us drive up there, man. Um, and we in the car. Uh -huh. I'm gonna come out and get y'all. Y'all just y'all wait at the gate, the little punch gate to get buzzed in. It's yeah. like a little complex where uh you got this a gate to open up once you get buzzed in. So we at the gate waiting, and me and my nigga, and uh, the gate don't open. So we punch the gate, and we don't have no cell phones. No, no, my homeboy had a cell phone. So we got one cell phone. And his shit about to die. We're like, hey, man, we outside. What's up? Um, no, I'm sorry. His shit did die. His shit died. So we got to run the 7-Eleven up the street mm -hmm. just to call her from the payphone again. Like, we, out, we we rolled the door. We, we rolled up at the door. At the gate, you didn't come up. What's up? Come mm -hmm. get us. All right, I'm going to come get y'all. Let's go back to the gate and wait. As we pulling up, we see niggas in the bushes. <laughs> Waiting, like getting back in, getting back in position. What? Like she must have told her, are they coming back? They coming back? I said, oh nah, nigga. You tell and the then, full story. You broke out running when no, you. No, 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 no. Oh, what happened? But, but I'm saying now nah, we pull you up seen it. and if you call, you be sending me. So we, I, I, who are the niggas that you got um, outside? So we, ain't no niggas outside. And we hear niggas in the background talking, whispering and shit. Yeah. I said, we say, all right, man. Damn. I said, now nah, we uh, uh we gonna come back. We gonna come back tomorrow. Ain't no tomorrow. I ain't gonna be here tomorrow. Ain't this where you live? Nah, this is this is where my homegirl stay. I right, fuck all that, nigga. Fuck y'all hood, nigga. This is, we here when they knew they knew it was a, it was a, a bunk mission. It yeah. wasn't gonna happen. They wasn't gonna yeah. be able to jack us. Yeah. Yeah. Now they start banging on nigga. Fuck y'all. Yeah, because they listening. Yeah, yeah. They listen. yeah. We said, uh, but we saw these niggas hop in the. It's like three niggas. Damn. Hopping these, these and big it was ass your bush. girl. Nah, this is the chick from the party line. This yeah, this is the your girl yeah, from the party yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, hell to yeah. Her. Yep, yep. Damn. That's and crazy. the thing is, this is the technology. So this is back in 2001 and two and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what no, you can't just send a, a, a picture and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we don't even know what this girl looked like. Right? Damn. So we, yeah, so yeah, you, so you pull up on the female, you don't even know how she look. You just nah, off like, the voice, she nigga. Sound <laughs> she she yeah, she yeah, she sound thick <laughs> from her description, nigga. And, and this is niggas, we ain't got shit going on. Yeah. Nigga, we, nigga, we about to find out she busted, nigga, we gonna dip. Nigga, she look just enough good she look good enough, nigga, we yeah. might slide. Yeah. You know she look fuckable. Right, 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 right. right. That's, the That's the part men don't yeah. talk about. Yeah, you got yeah, keep it a hundred. You, you got cute. Yeah, yeah. Her you voice sounds fuckable and you got I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what she's doing. I see what she's talking about. Late night shit. You know I mean? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we talking about when a when nigga when the club is over, nigga, and the girl you got from the club, the number you got from the club, she ain't answering the phone now. Now you going through your shit trying to figure out what yeah. the fuck is going on. Who can I call? That's what you, a nigga. Fuck it, hit the party line. That's yeah. the last resort. Yeah, that's the last resort. Yeah, last resort. Yeah. So yeah, that's Instagram now. Last resort yeah. is Instagram. Then, you, then uh -huh. you going to the own little chat where ain't nobody at on some mm -hmm. shit. Going to yeah. this chat room, you know, like chat hey, room twenty nine. Yeah, and shit. Hey, 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 pop in chat chat room twenty nine. Yeah, I'll let you real quick. Okay, boom, boom. Yeah. Hello. Then it's just y'all hey. in there. Yeah. Then another suck ass nigga come try to slide through. So what's up with you though? Like, yeah, yeah nigga, you, just seen you see what's going on, my nigga. Yeah, nigga, like nigga start. Yeah. Damn. Now, nigga, uh, when a chick do that shit and your time about to run out, yeah. hey, 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 give me your line. Let me call you outside the chat room and shit. This shit, my 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 men's about to be done. Yeah. Let me call you. I'll give you money. And, and if a chick is serious, she give you a number yeah. outside of that shit. But Damn, yeah. off a conversation. Yeah, uh -huh. that's when you just had to have straight. Nah, hey, you got to be quick with it too. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was your description and shit. Yo, what's up, Shaw? I'm saying I'm six three. Blah blah blah. They blah. They probably thought you was lying. I'm huh? six six. I'm yeah. big. I'm yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Bro. This is a little short light skin nigga told me that the last <laughs> call I had. Hilarious, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I've been catfish it didn't too. Turn out. You been catfish? Oh yeah, oh, nigga. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> part of the line I have you fucked up too though oh, For sure oh, Part but, of the line Yeah part of the line Cause you can't see him yep, Yeah you can't see yeah. Him. It's all of a voice So a nigga said He was Big John No 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 nah, I wasn't catfish. catfish A chick said she was oh, She was she looking so, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Come to sure. find out She was not Hey how she you doing She was a filter yeah, she was a filter. That oh, was this filters. is you don't look as good yeah. as you look. Or nigga, I didn't, I didn't fucked around and met a chick online, on Black Planet back no on MySpace yeah, back MySpace. in the day, uh -huh. and it was a twin, nigga, her twin sister. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm in the car kissing with a twin sister and shit. 
she sent her sister who didn't. Yeah, I wasn't. I was talking to her, but she a twin. Mm -hmm. But I guess nigga, she and she, they look good. They both look good. Yeah. But she a little thicker. They got a little heavier. Swear. So she. So Give she me was. The twin. She was sending me. Yeah. No, no, no. She no. She was a thick chick that she was self conscious. Mm -hmm. She uh sent me the picture of her sister. Her twin sister. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Her sister really looked at. Yeah. Better. Because let's say let's say she fifteen pounds heavier than her actual twin sister. They used to be the same size, but she had a baby and got pregnant. I mean, and got bigger and shit. Mm -hmm. So and so I'm I'm gonna her her sister was just supposed to like make sure I was who I was. Mm -hmm. Her sister went all the way through with it, nigga. I just smashed. <laughs> But then I'm playing with him. I'm kissing her and all that yeah. shit. Yeah, and then she get back to the room. I can't believe you would do that. What you mean? That was my sister. That wasn't even me. I was just trying to check to see if you was. I said, well, how would I know that? Dummy. Yeah, check yeah, you her. check your sister. Your yeah. sister, she the one that betrays you. Yeah, she betrays you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, I fuck both of you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> And then I met her at the, I met her again at the That's mall. That's a skit too, nigga. I know. That's how I be coming up with shit too. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, 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 I'll let you get to the question if you yeah. want. If that's what y'all want to do, but yeah, nah, get to nah, it. we can try. This the Kelly Kickback, man. This Thug Magic, man. We, 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 we can it, talk nigga. about party lines, everything, space, all that, man. Yeah. For sure. But but yeah, credit that was that that, that would have been a great skit. But to to that, how do you come up with your skits and stuff like, like that? This? You come up with a various of things, yeah. Like this, uh, for example. Uh, most of my shit is the shit I experienced or I was involved in or yeah. the homie experienced or some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like even with the Tiberius shit, like I'm a hood nigga, but I ain't a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, mean, I know street yeah. niggas. I ain't a game banger or nothing like that, but I know I know what Tiberius. I know a few of them niggas. Yeah. I'm sure everybody y'all niggas from the school. That's Sonny, bro. That's Sonny, yeah. bro. <laughs> like a nigga that's gonna be like, hey, bro, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I ain't nigga had a job since since uh, Job Corps. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, But he'll do anything, nigga. You got a little bread, nigga. Nigga, give me an address, nigga, in the picture, bro. I'll holler at that nigga real, real yeah. quick. Oh, my. You know what I'm saying? That's what Tiberius is, that character I got. Yeah. Um, or that I'm coming to shit when, when the nigga's over, overbearing. He got a girl that she don't let the nigga do nothing by herself. Mm -hmm. Anywhere he goes, she coming to. Nigga, she, she, she a real clingy ass girlfriend. That ain't my stuff. That ain't, that ain't my swag, but yeah. I know niggas like that. Yeah. Even even when I when I came up with that first that those uh series of sketches, niggas like, damn, nigga, you talking about me, my nigga, that's fucked up. Yeah. They laughing, but, but yeah, nigga, oh, yeah, I'm making a joke out of that shit. So it's a lot of times either I've been went through it or some of my niggas did. You know what I mean? So when you yeah. coming up with your uh, with your sketches, are you writing them out? Are you kind of freestyling and nigga. giving the concept? Your to shit the look actors? written. I, I used to write everything. Uh, I started writing. So basically, from 2017. Um, to now, I ain't. I, I just you know. It's conceptual. Over the years, I just uh, but it, it's, it's it's who you who you shoot with the actors that you shoot with. You know, I could direct on the spot. Yeah, so right now, exactly. if we doing the sketch, we got cameras right here. I could play. All right, Jamar. Jamal. 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 My bad. Jamal. Excuse yeah. me. Jamal and Lewis. All right, we sketch. Uh, y'all niggas, brothers. I come on. I come over here. I'm the third roommate. Nigga, I'm fucking up everything. Y'all got two bras coming over to the crib, but it's a three of us. Y'all yeah. gotta find a way to get me out the motherfucking picture. Yep. Yeah. For the two bras. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I'm telling y'all that I'm telling y'all niggas right now what that is. But I mean, you've been shooting for three years. I've been shooting yeah. with you for four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I say action. Y'all kinda know. We just don't start skimming you. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of times niggas can't ad lib and stay within the parameters of a real understand. Uh, understand uh, understanding Flow. of a dialogue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Niggas, everybody can't be that funny. Right. Everything in the punchline. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of comedians too. All my niggas love my my, my, my niggas. Before I used to like, nigga, don't be your, your character ain't funny yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you can't come in. Oh, nigga, yeah. yeah. What's nah. up, nigga? Nah, you gotta be a little serious. Right, you gotta be act serious. Like you really the funny. Walked in the house regular. What's yeah, because what, what right. really happened is, <laughs> yeah, the the girls are downstairs. They're trying to get me off the couch so y'all can get the girls on the couch. Yeah. So now nigga, like, hey, bro, hey, uh, my name Malcolm. Hey, Malcolm, nigga, hey, nigga, hey, you trying to eat, nigga? Hell yeah, I'm trying to eat. Well, shit, why don't you go to um, Popeyes real quick? And, Nah, nigga, I don't like Popeyes. Nigga, I like I like churches. Nigga, what you go to church? The church is closed, nigga. And eventually, this nigga yeah. like, hey, get the fuck up out, nigga. We got some yeah. bras coming through, so yeah. the sketch should be. So we had to find a way how to how to get the the story to going. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you on the phone with the girl in the other room, and then me and you playing the game. Mm -hmm. You come in and you go in the kitchen. You tell this nigga to come in there with you, and now you, hey, bro, get this nigga Malcolm out the room, nigga. He gonna fuck it up for all of us. There's oh, two bras coming. It's three of us. We call that cock blocking. Yeah. Oh, mom. Huh? They call that shit cock blocking in L.A. Yeah. 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 Well, was that a universal? Well, yeah, cock blocking. Yeah. Cock blocking. You talking about getting me out the way? Yeah. Like when it, when you trying to hit some. And, and, the, and, and somebody in the way. way. Nah, you were a female. Malcolm and your pocket just lingering around. Yeah. Cock blocking. And that's such a it's such a universal. He already know. Yeah, Malcolm is a nigga that. 
is gonna say some wild shit. Yeah. Damn, you got hey, your ass fat as hell. You know what I'm saying? I, he, he, he's the nigga that's always gonna fuck up the groove and shit. Yeah, like hold on, you know what damn, I'm saying? Nigga, you taking it too Cause fast. sometimes it depends on how you be me, <laughs> really. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, you jumping? As soon as we get to the room, what we, what we, what we on? Who's shaking hands? What ass? you mean? Well, damn, ass. I thought he was gonna watch some fresh hour. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, he ain't watch. And, and that's the, see, I just came up with that voice. <laughs> that's the, that's the, when the girls come in the room and I'm still sitting right here, mm-hmm. and that's what I'm like. What's up? What we on? What we doing? Who's shaking ass? Yeah. And the girl about what you mean? I thought you were someone like, yo, Jamal, I thought he was gonna watch Rush Hour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you go, like, oh yeah, he was. Then yo, Jamal, I mean your mom Malcolm, get the fuck up out of here. No, I'm just saying, nigga, I like Rush Hour too, nigga. Uh uh Smokey, my favorite nigga. Move leave. Now I don't yeah. get the hint. So that's the whole sketch where this thing and Malcolm fucking up the whole vibe. Wow, that's and I can I can I can direct that shit as we go. You know what I mean? So when it was oh, but it took me a long time to get that way, though. Yeah. You know yeah, mean? to create that flow. Hey, what's up with it? It's your boy, Louis Bell. This episode is sponsored by High Roller. Y'all go tap in, follow the Instagram page. They black on, ran by a black woman. So y'all tap in right now. Uh, cannabis delivery, all type. I ain't going to get in detail. Y'all just follow, but I love everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all. So, like, uh... Do you do you be doing like actions and cuts and yeah. like and edits and shit like that? Yeah. Like, damn, that was good, but then Absolutely. we gotta run it again and hopefully get get this angle this way. Hell yeah. It, it ain't just you gotta go out at this one go. It's like no, no, action no, no, no. cut. Nah, that's the thing. And also you when you ad lib, you gotta ad lib again and again. Yes, the exactly. same shit. Yeah. So if you come if I'm if I'm saying nigga, I make a joke about blah blah blah, but the camera's on you, when the camera's on me, I gotta say the same exact thing. A lot of niggas be yeah. saying something different. No, nigga, I'm 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 let, let me just flow with my shit. I'm a comedian, yeah. nigga. I'm a I'm let me just ad lib. You say we going we off the dome, right? Yeah, you're off the dome, but once you say it, it gotta it gotta stay. Yeah. 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 It gotta, you, it gotta you sound write, like a script. It's an ad lib, yeah. but you write the script as you go. Exactly. If that's the script, then you gotta keep saying it. Cause we gotta get his coverage, we gotta get your coverage, and gotta get my coverage. Coverage, and you got to say the same shit on all of our coverages. Yeah. So whatever you ad lib and say, you got to keep remembering that shit right, exactly. and say it again and again and again. Yeah. But that's all what the director is supposed to. I'm supposed to keep you. Yeah. Hey, remember you got to say that again. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah. Say this. The same yeah. thing you said five minutes ago when the camera's on you. You got to say the same thing for him, and then for me. Then, yeah. So <clears throat> so and you started doing these sketches really consistently in 2017. I've been doing sketches since nigga since '99, nigga since high school. '99. What inspired you? Nigga, Martin, Martin, yeah, really? man, yeah, straight up. I mean, I'm gonna keep it hundred. Hey, uh, watching Martin, watching uh, the the King, um, King Neville Wayne's, the Wayne's brothers, watching uh, Hollywood Shuffle, Mo Money, um, Don't yeah. Be a Menace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And your was, big ass is like, I'm finna do I that. I wanna do that. Not go to the NFL. No, 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 no. Football was first. Yeah. Football was like football. Oh, and you film. play football? I play football like hell. Yeah, football like hell. Yeah. Cal you know? Berkeley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You live in the Bay nine mm-hmm. years. Yeah, nine years, man. Oh. Yeah, man, it's a bay, the bay like a second know, home. You know what I mean? Pop your motherfucking Oh boy, oh boy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got a little bay, bro. What Shout made out. you go to Cal then? Um, you from LA? To get out to, to, to get away, my nigga. Oh. I live I live down the street from SC. I I lived on 43rd place oh. and Broadway. Mm. And now uh, you could take you can get to SC probably in 15, less than that, 10 minutes. Oh. Drive, but that's that's right there. And this being, I didn't want to be so. I want to be far enough to where my parents can't just pull up on me, but close enough to where I can just get back in a few hours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? You can fly back for an hour, hour yeah. and a half. You back at the crib. Yeah. People from out of state think the Bay and L. A. Like it's next like, to nigga, the Bay and L. A. Is like it's both. It's all Cali. It's yeah. all it's all love, but it's a different state, bro. Yeah. That's the Bay. It was a culture yeah. shock yeah, moving up to the Bay. Too. Yeah. yeah. Motherfucker think like if you don't know California, they think that. You know, the Bay in L.A. is the same with, like, Crips and Bloods. Not and at all. All, all of that shit. I'll say one they thing about the Bay. The right. I'll say one thing about the Bay. The Bay is the only area in California that, that don't have Crips and Bloods. Nope. Yeah, yeah y'all wasn't having that shit. We don't bang, the Bay. man. We nah. bang the bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. because yeah. yeah. you got, got sacked. Yeah, we bang, we bang the block, the block sure. and, we yeah. and we bang Turf hogs project. and shit. Yeah. That, that, nah. I think that's one thing, like, you know. I got a lot of culture up there. And you didn't know that until you went up there? Nah, I ain't know shit about the bay until I went on my recruiting trip up there. Wow! I knew I knew about Too Short E Forty. Yeah, I knew about the music, of the course, music. Mm-hmm. but I didn't know. I thought E Forty was from Oakland. Damn! I didn't know nothing about Vallejo. Yeah. And even when he said like Valley Joe and all that shit, I, I didn't know what he was talking about. I'm thinking that's a slang for some other shit. But I, when I went up there, I said, "Oh, they got Richmond. They got they got San. Well, I knew about Oakland and San Francisco. Yeah. I didn't know about Richmond, California, yeah. or you didn't uh, know about the Bay Area. Yeah, San Jose, yeah. Fairfield, Vallejo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so and I didn't I didn't know how far Sac was. To me, Sac was a uh, Sac and Oakland the same shit. 
Damn. No, not at all. I, yeah, I, I found out fast. Now, I yeah, found out yeah. fast. Oh, no, 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 that's Northern California, nigga. This is yeah. the Bay, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Yay, yeah, my nigga. So, yeah. yeah, I learned fast and how y'all talk. Nigga, I ain't never seen so many niggas in the, in the summertime wearing pea coats, my nigga. I <laughs> said, God he, damn, we nigga. We that water, man. Hey, bro. bro. Cold, I never yeah. seen so many gangsta niggas dance, too. Yeah. We'll two step, nigga. Niggas, niggas be out here see walking, be walking and shit, or two step. You know what I'm saying? But, like, niggas in the Bay, y'all be dancing. You think Bay Area niggas dance more than LA niggas? Nah, I'm t- nigga, I'm talking about back. I'm talking about twenty years ago. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 No, y'all, but y'all was sea walking. I man. said no. I said the sea walk, but it, it's like I'm talking about that's gangsta shit. You know what I'm saying? But we was gangsta. We was going so dumb. Was gangsta I, I going dumb was, was was really gangsta. I know, it but to us. Uh-huh. Think, and we had a problem with it, but y'all niggas having a good time. Yeah. yeah. See, look, but, but see, it that's how we looked at y'all. Like, yeah. that's C-Walk, this it, shit yeah, looked like a crazy. joke. That was like some funny nah, shit. But yeah. niggas, that, nah, it was, it was some, shit. Nah, it was some, it was some gangbangers, like, having fun, expressing themselves yeah. through dance. Yeah. So but that's yeah, what that's only, was, too. That's typically only gangbangers. You know, when, when y'all start seeing niggas who wasn't Crips, Crip walking and shit. Yeah, uh, it became a it became real commercial after a while. Yeah. But nigga, I, and the club, uh, not club. Dude, I was a kid growing up and going to house parties and shit. Yeah. Wasn't nobody dancing. They was watching the girls dance, twerk and freak and shit. Yeah. And, it, and and niggas would try to like just get behind the girl and just stand there, nigga, and let a chick just do her thing. That was but in the bay, y'all niggas is you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I thought the, I thought the shit was fly, nigga. I was like, these niggas really out here. Yeah. I seen the nigga drop his motherfucking gun, nigga. I was, <laughs> nigga, I, mean, I, I went to a party. And this nigga was dancing like fucking dance. For, this nigga was grooving. Yeah. Hey, dry, I am my bad blood. And on top of it, nigga be saying blood and shit. Nigga, oh, yeah. we was like, whoa. Yeah, we say blood and cuz. Blood and cuz. Yeah. Cuz, don't saying? get blood because this nigga over here. Yeah. So it's a, high. Hey, Oak, uh, the Bay Area in, in its entirety, man, uh, is so different wow. from uh, L.A. So you yeah, went so. out there just, yeah, that makes sense. I was 17 when I went out there, man. You know what's crazy, too, growing up in the Bay Area? I didn't, I never went to, like, no college party in the Bay Area. Like, I don't oh, really? know nobody that went to Cal outside of Marshawn Lynch and, like, that, like, people oh, really? from sports. Like, yeah, I know, yeah. like, people that went, I can name several people that went to it's Cal a gang of Bay, sports. It's a gang of niggas from the Bay that from Oakland that went to Berkeley. Yeah. yeah, but I'm saying yeah. it's you said like you don't know you didn't know them niggas. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying just culturally, no, no, no. like college yeah. is not part of our culture in the right, day. Right, right, right. Like, I know for me, I don't know about my yeah. area. I'm yeah, not nah, nah, for, for I ain't sure. never been to that, a that's real college. Shit, though, we we not we not big on sports, right? Like mm-hmm. you know, it's not, we don't have like we have like. Uh, um, Stanford, and we have Cal, but then our high schools and our like uh, our, our region ain't big on basketball, football. No, it is. It's like just that. not predominantly black. No, no, it, it's not though. When it comes down to like black people, black communities, and shit like that, you'll go to like to Texas. You go to like Los Angeles. You compare right? it to and Texas, yeah, yeah. For you, Texas, you go, it's crazy. black people. I know it's black people, right? But then their like their whole goal in their mind is to be able to go play in college and shit like that. It's their, it's their main goal. In the Bay, you didn't have the high school that was a big high school, you know what I mean, that you went and played for and then the, and the scouts was coming and scouts. Shit, you. nigga, yeah, Mac. Huh? Mac, Mac, and in, in, Mac? In San Francisco? No, nah, nigga, Mac in West Oakland. McClymans, right? Yeah, McClymans. Yeah. But are you, are you considering Dale South? You talking still, about Dale South? Huh? Dale yeah, yeah, Dale yeah, South. Yeah, South they was the same yeah, the the country. try to get into Dale South, like, now Dale South is in the Bay, but like, you had to like really, your family they had to change their whole life in order for you to actually get into you it. had yeah. to have money to go to Dallas. Yeah. You, exactly, you had to have some yeah. money you ain't gotta have no money in a lot of these different states and shit like that just this high school hell and go to this high school but the culture of like football is huge it's big you know what I mean scouts is coming there you know I all the motherfucking saying. time you know yeah. what I mean they, they, I their high school games are like college games yeah. their college games are like NFL games nah in Texas yes. in Texas for all sure. the, all the, the whole set of Texas you a high school standout, you a star. Yeah. They'll ask yeah. you for your autograph. Yeah. How was yeah. it in so, LA? Um, same shit. If you same was, you shit. No, no autograph, but like if you was, uh, uh, for example, when I was coming up, the best niggas in the city was like the, uh, not even the city, because Long Beach, I would say uh, Kareem Kelly. Mm-hmm. Kareem Kelly, oh. Daryl Rideau, they went to Long Beach Poly. Long Beach Poly was the big powerhouse. Oh, yeah, Poly. In yeah. LA. Even, even, even though it was Long Beach. <laughs> All Long, the Polys. Yeah, even though it's Long Beach, but it's still. They was cracking. Um, of course, you got Crenshaw was known for basketball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you had Fairfax that was known for basketball. Um, and that's like like inner city, San Diego, uh, inner city L.A. Um, a lot of the teams like the Washington, the, the, the Fremont, they was hood schools. A lot of good athletes, but a lot of hood schools 
kind of squander their their potential. Cause a lot of niggas is doing all kind of had the, the best niggas, niggas on the team is game banging ass niggas. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. So they don't they don't ever go to college because they getting locked up, going to YA, and they're just going to the county jail and shit like that, and miss the opportunities. Now it's not all the time, but a lot of niggas like my closest homeboy is from Harbor City area. He went to Darbon. And uh, he got to the college and he got to the league. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot of niggas that get to the league from LA, but even even the Bay, the Bay. When I moved up to, I moved up to, up there to the Bay. Mm-hmm. Niggas ball, niggas yeah, niggas, niggas play. Um, it's the Bay. The culture is different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a hood coach. Oh, Oakland. I you know Marshawn Oakland. Nigga, if he wasn't playing football, what the fuck would he be doing? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Keep it on there. Marshawn be bipping cars. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Um, Drink your hand. But it was a lot of niggas. It's a lot of niggas from the from from Oakland um, and Frisco that was that was real good, right? But they um, was kind of like still fucking with the streets a little bit, even that going even going to Cal. You know oh what yeah, saying? for sure. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? So I think I, I think it's a uh, shit. Roy Williams that played for the Cowboys. He from what he went to? I think he from Antioch or some shit. Who? Even Roy Williams, Roy Williams, number three. I should know him if he was went to. If he but he, but he, to he, he, he a year older than me. Oh, so, you yeah, know I don't saying? know that. Unless you were, unless you a football fan like that, you probably wouldn't. Know. But I know he Mar- went. To, Maurice Jones Drew. Is yeah, 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 yeah. He went to De La Salle. Mm-hmm. Oh, De, he went to De La Salle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Damn. Yeah, the, the the Bay. I think like I know a lot of niggas that had great potential in middle school, high school. But it was definitely the streets, you know. Mm-hmm. And then it's, you don't it, think that's everywhere? No, yeah, it, it is. is everywhere. Uh, but okay. but I think San Francisco was so saturated, right, with the the crack epidemic. You know what I mean? Don't blame and, that shit listen, on listen, that. That's listen, listen everywhere. Listen, what I'm saying. Hold on, it was everywhere. But do you see the difference in our malnourishment, right, in Oakland, in San Francisco, like in the Bay? We don't produce like. Thick bitches, you know what I mean? And shit, it be thick shit in Oakland. Nah, be, <laughs> hell nah. You never yeah. heard the same LA face with an Oakland, Oakland booty? booty? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I hear, I hear you that. You talking about San but, Francisco. But, but you know when he said that? I mean, we could go, go, go into what, you know, <laughs> what how San Francisco built Oakland's black population, you know, a lot. <laughs> like, right? We, 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 we can. Yeah. We can go there. Hey, yeah. Like, when we talk about, you know, uh, Jim Crow migration, come to work in San Francisco. Nobody but ain't anyway, trying to hear that anyway, shit. But look, mm-hmm. look how... Keep breaking it down, but hey. Look how far back that was, The young niggas don't want to hear this shit, huh? Look, 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 look how far back that was, though. Like, you know, Oakland face with a... Uh, o- uh, Frisco face with an Oakland booty, right? Nigga, that was nigga... No, it was L.A. face, face with an Oakland, Oakland booty. booty. I know, but that was back... And that's when a big booty was still a small booty, right? This is what... <laughs> black... <laughs> Black girls, hey, wasn't hey, that keep it back in the day, nigga, bro? If you they look wasn't. at if you look at two live look crew, look at all the videos. <laughs> look at two live crew, right? And I used to watch that shit on the box or MBT all the time. They be thick as fuck. But you look back at them now; they were small compared yeah. to what's thick now. That's I'm, I'm, I'm talking even even before the BBL, cool. even before the BBL world, because yes. the BBL that's the time now. Yeah, I, I remember when girls had ass like that; it was real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. When I was, yeah, I, I'm an assologist, nigga. I'm the young I man, bro. I study ass. Nigga, yeah. I, ass, yamology is my shit, bro. Yeah. So now I, I see it. I'm graduated from Yeah, and then some, <laughs> Looking at Ass Summa, University. It was a summa cum laude, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so before the BBL era, there was there was super thick bras. Now, nah, there's a, a few bras from, from Oakland that I didn't uh, part, partook in, my nigga. Crazy. No, man, it's a chick. I ain't gonna say her name. She from San Francisco. I drove across the bridge, nigga, with no tra- with no transmission fluid in my transmission, my nigga. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no power steering fluid that in my shit. That nigga's ready to swim across nigga, the water. Her, at her case, I met her in Frisco. Uh-huh. I met her at, uh, what the fuck was the club called? Velvet Lounge? Velvet Lounge. You, yep. know, you probably wouldn't know about it, you know what I'm saying? But you, uh, he, he never partied in the city. That okay. Nigga stayed in the town. Nah. <laughs> I party hey, everywhere. Hey, but niggas, but it was cracking because niggas would come out there from Oakland. Because Oakland, nigga, I love the Bay. I love Oakland, bro. But they shit would get shut down so many times. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Mingos, Jeffries, Sweet Jimmy's, yeah, nigga, yeah. motherfucking uh, See, Maxwell's. See, y'all talk, y'all OG era. Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga. Yeah. yeah, all that. I don't even know what's cracking. What, what clubs is cracking right now in the Bay right now? Um, or at least when you live there. Those times, bro, I didn't, I didn't start going to clubs like that, bro, until I came home from prison and I was thirty years old. So like before that, like if you was a gangster in the streets, you didn't go to the club because you was scared of the phone pimp. Mm -hmm. And then when you did go to the club, nigga, you got the strap, nigga. Niggas got the strap. It's like that. Mingles is tough. (laughs) Mingles is lightweight, nigga. Yeah, uh, Mingles. Yeah, Jack London Square downtown, nigga. Oh yeah, yeah. Mingles. I was hella mad when I was little because I used to be going to Everson Jones and shit and downtown to Jack London. 
Square, yeah. and I'd be seeing all the niggas pull up and it'd be hella thickies out there. It'd be hella, hella yeah, thickies, yeah, out there, it'd be hella thickies yeah, bro. Be some, but it'd be, it'd they be, they be, they be, but, but I mean, they be. I get what you're saying. I go to New York. I go to a lot of other places where you know black culture lives at, and it's like, damn, damn, oh shit. Oh, New York is different. That's a different beast. We ain't gonna say New York. We talking about asses. New York? What? Nah, nah. Bro, I lived in New York, bro. We it's crazy about good lore, bro. Texas. Texas too? Number one. Mm-hmm. Miami. No. We go to uh, no, um, Texas. Man, I put this right now. Y'all nah, help us Texas. too. Put a comment. Texas for sure. Women with the fattest asses. Texas. Um, Atlanta. What area? So Atlanta. Texas, Georgia. Al- Georgia. Yep. And then we gonna go probably Carolinas. Carolina, Ooh, stop shit. playing with me. Nah, I hey, fuck with hey, no, big hey, booty Charlotte, 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 nigga, yeah. Charlotte for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah for shout sure. out Charlotte. Well, here's the thing: oh, the South, the South for the sure. South. The South is gonna have it. Period. Because that's where all the niggas came from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, let's, so let's say but, that. But, but, yeah. but before they came to the West, they went up north. Yeah, they went they to. to you know who we got fucked up? New York. Who? The Midwest. I don't know. Detroit, Chicago. Detroit nigga. Nah, nigga. Oh, yeah, Shite Town. I, so. I might have to throw but Chicago she... before Atlanta. Nah, I ain't gonna go that far. With ass? Nah. Listen, I ain't gonna go that far. Nah. nah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta go. <laughs> hey, yeah. You get excited, my nigga. You gotta go Atlanta first, though. Yeah. No, not Texas first. I don't know. Atlanta before. Atlanta first before Chicago. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but, you know, Texas, Texas, Oklahoma. Oklahoma just not oh, popular, man. but Oklahoma, Oklahoma my nigga, too, Texas, sure. Oklahoma, that's a it's a toss up. But ain't no rappers from Oklahoma, ain't yeah. no videos, no music yeah. videos from Oklahoma, yeah. ain't nobody got nigga. But I, yeah. bro, I've been around, nigga. Man. You know what I'm saying? My younger years and shit, but nigga. See, niggas Ohio, like, but, Ohio, but, but, nigga. No, look, look, look. Y'all claiming cities that y'all had a good experience in. We talking about the masses. Cause now the masses I, I is a, no, I, y'all gonna nigga Fresno. I'm no, <laughs> shit out of here. no, 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 not Fresno. Merced, nigga, no, nigga. It's like you nigga. just got some it's asses. It's a family of asses. It's a family of thick bras in Merced. That's it. That's it, yeah. nigga. It's a uh, it's a lot of undiscovered spots. So when niggas say Ohio, we saying all these. We're not saying they that. in the mix. We yeah. just saying you'd okay. be surprised. Yeah, but you'd be exactly. you'd you be surprised anywhere. anywhere. True, 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 true. Yeah. You could be watching Washington down, though. Uh, what? Yeah. Washington? Washington, crazy. They though. have some on. DC. <laughs> they do. They, 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 they have some on. Yeah, they have some on in the You could be yeah. anywhere and see yeah, a fat ass. Yeah, true, true, true. You could be in motherfucking New Mexico and see a fat ass. Washington DC. You know what I mean? Oh, DC. Oh, what is that? Yeah, yeah. That's Chocolate City. Yeah, yeah. City. Oh, that's that's City. where it's like the Chocolate City. Yeah. So they got we got, we got, they got that, some crazy. That's up there, top five. Chocolate yeah. City, top five. Oh yeah, like, for sure. Everybody mm-hmm. is like, ah, that's ah, what, ah. So y'all see what I'm saying with this New York shit though? Y'all gotta slow oh, down. Oh no, no, New York, bro. York, bro. How often have you been what? out there? I've been out there several times. Bro, I, I lived out there. Bro. I love it's New like, York. And, and hold on, hold on, let me say this: It's not thick. We're talking about. Puerto Rican, we talk yeah. about Dominican, we talk about black. It's a lot of women with titties about, in New York. With, with, ass, nigga. Nah, ass, they walk bro. everywhere, nigga. Everywhere in the project. They walk them stairs. Yeah. You ever been them subway stairs, nigga? Bro, I live in. Hey, 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 when you live in, the, you live in a uh, apartment complex that's 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 uh only uh what's it five stories? Mm-hmm. Ain't no elevator, bro. Yeah, it got to be five or more. Yeah. For elevator, for the old ass, the brownstones and the projects yeah, the and shit. Yeah. They be an the elevator, nigga. The elevator breaks down, nigga. You got fucking eight flights you of stairs to go up. These chicks be thick to the motherfucker. They pull off that motherfucker, that puff, that puff coat in the summertime. Ooh, I mean, in the wintertime. Winter. Nigga, you be like, God damn, and she they had got the long joint suit. The long, like you can't see shit. Yeah. I'm like, damn. You can't see shit. Hold on. That's what it is. You can't j- see everybody ass when yeah, you walking not, around. Not mm-hmm. in the winter. Nah, not in the winter. Not in the winter. Yeah. I mean, I But Texas, nigga, Texas. Bad than bras is from twenty two to fucking forty two, like yes. the, you see, you go to the club. Everybody, you see grandmama women, got you, ass. You, you yeah. see, no, nah, I'm saying like the women be they be forty something years old. They be dressed like they they daughters and shit. Yeah, jazzy to the motherfucker. Yeah, nigga, Texas is special. Hey, I'm telling you, I got the show in DC, man. All the players gonna be there, everything. You coming, right? No. Hey. Like I said, man, September 20th, I'm coming to D.C., man. Get your tickets right now. All the players going to pop out. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, where I'm at? D.C. Comedy Law? Come on, pull up on me, all the ladies. Come on, I want to see y'all. I heard it's Chocolate City. All the chocolate people come see me. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. September 20th. i see y'all in a minute, man. I'm on the way. Thank you. I love everybody. Texas, Texas. So Texas. who you think? Who you think I think of women? Who you think I think of women? The Bay Area or LA? LA. Ooh. All day. You tweaking? Bro. 
Right, you LA got the base fucked up. Ooh. LA all day. Man, you hey. Right. I'm biased, but I've been to both places. That's what I'm saying. He said, I was in the Bay from 17 to 27, 26. So I grew up in the Bay, basically, nigga. I yeah. left L.A. in 99. I, I moved back in 2008. Who you think got the thickest women, the Bay Area or L.A.? I'm biased, though, bro. Cause, <laughs> cause I know where to find them, nigga. Yeah. I know where to find them, nigga, out here. true, too. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 bro, like I said, I, I became a man in the motherfucking Bay, bro. Yeah. So I got a special place in my heart for the Bay Area, my man. Nigga. My goodness, bro. Nah, y'all, y'all got y'all got crazy. It's it's chicks out there just built crazy. I'm gonna keep it a buck. So like when I see like I'm telling you, black black people, we bro, love ass hood. so much. He could yeah. he love ass so much he couldn't make a decision. Yeah, I can't, man. Because <laughs> hey, I'm reminiscing. <laughs> I'm reminiscing and shit, man. I'm reminiscing. I'm like, nah, because I, I had man, bro. You go to you go to Sweet Jimmy's. Yeah. As a young nigga, don't yeah. that sound like women thick at that motherfucker? Sweet Jimmy's, bro. Sweet Jimmy's. Oh yeah, for sure. That sound like hood, everybody nigga. got ass. Yeah. yeah. So we used to pull up in there um, deep, nigga. Like me and the homies, my teammates and shit. We go to Sweet Jimmy's, bro. You gonna pull a chick that's twenty three, or you gonna pull a chick that's forty three, and they be they be they be looking good, nigga. Yeah. I was fucking with older chicks when I was like in my early twenties, nigga. I was, I was traumatized growing up in the project, my nigga. With like all the bitches like all the bitches was like you probably had we had like one thick joint that everybody wanted yeah. on some shit you know what I mean but it was the, the malnourishment my nigga as, I, as I'm older and I look at it now I think that that's where it comes from so even when I think about like LA if you're talking like Compton and you're talking like mm. real black cities you know yeah. what I mean and shit like that you almost see the same thing now of course you're gonna find some some thick joints you know what I mean you know cause the thick joints they know how to travel outside can of that, that shit because they gonna show? get that right attention what? huh could that be a TV show what who thicker and they have like a Bay versus <laughs> Hell LA. yeah and they have a Texas but, who's hey, thicker no BBLs though no, yeah, BBLs. no BBLs organic no BBLs. meat Organic oh, yeah, cakes, yeah. organic yams, my nigga. Yeah. Organic yams. Yeah. That's the TV show. Yeah. It's yeah. like next. Next. Remember old school next. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hop out next. the bus. Oh, next. You ain't got ass like that. Nah. Man. Only only ass on this on, on this. And show. you got you got to bring your high school prom picture. The yeah, show that you had ass, you've been had ass. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. You've been ass. had ass, my nigga. A lot, a lot of these girls showing up. I'm like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. You you 32 right now? That's, that's cool. <laughs> Damn, you think as a motherfucker, but what you yeah. look at 22? Because if you this thick, there's no way you was skin and bones at 22. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you knew after, the girls. After that baby, though. After yeah. that baby, that thing like But you had to have a little, little bit of hip you know going man? on. That thing swollen Some up females a little get bit. thick after That's that true. baby. Yeah, That's that true. Baby. That's true. Oh, but like typically, I, all the girls I know from high school, I see them now, I'm like, damn, you dumb thick. But you was yeah. already thick. You know what I'm saying? You was already cracking back then. Yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? for real. Now, there's a couple skinny girls that had the olive oils. Yeah. Right, and now you see them now. Like they got two kids two in, huh, bro? Yeah, the little olive oil joint. Like, Dang. I, like my first girlfriend, I used to call her olive oil. Like she wanted black, she hilarious. was Mexican or some shit like that. Oh, you a cat? And then, and then, but later <laughs> on, but later on in life. Nigga, she grew. She all, blossomed. She, oh my god, no. Yeah. I mean, not good though. It's like, nah, I will never like. But like, damn, wh why didn't you keep your body like that? You wasn't. You just oh, consciously it didn't get good. big. Oh, it didn't you get good. Nah, it didn't get good. Like, because a lot of times, some chicks, they, they body can't afford the extra thirty pounds they gain over the hell next ten years. Hell nah. yeah. And you start like, you know, being like okay with like not working out. Like you know what I mean? Nah. I think working out is like a now today thing on some shit. Like that's something that you got. Bitches do. ain't working out. They get so, BBLs so, and then take so, them at the gym. Yeah, no, they they get big on purpose. And then it's yeah. like I'm just gonna take it and put nigga, it. Nigga, that's hilarious. They nigga. doing that. I'm gonna spend this is my plan, bitch. I'm gonna go ahead and spend three years. I'm gonna gain about forty five fifty. Right? It's gonna go to stupid ass places. I know, but give me one. Well, once I get this nursing job, I'm gonna get this little bread. Yeah. I'm gonna take all the fat yep. from all the bullshit and put Anybody. it all in my ass. So she had yeah. motherfucking. In and out ordering two, three triple stack nigga yeah. special menu burgers. <laughs> like, hold on, bitch. Oh, shit. Special oh, menu but, burgers. Hey, look, this shit is crazy. Bitch, Can I have a bison, bison burger, bro? A bison bro, burger. I seen a bitch the other day, my nigga. She was like showing off, like showing off the buns. Like, all right, you just got your shit done. This bitch had a scar this long coming down Damn. here and back here. Like, how you gonna pull that off? Like, when you go to the beach? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Tattoos. Like, God damn, that's the scars look yeah. crazy. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. You ain't gonna be my bitch. Like, you know, I I'm like, girl. Duh. But like, you ain't about, you ain't about to be my girl. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ending it with you. What about she had a great personality? She had money audit. Uh if she got money and great personality, uh, I don't know, bro. You'll lock it in. No, nah, I'm not locking. I'm not locking. It's still kinda it depends. It, you ain't gonna wife something. a girl with a BBL? Here's the thing, bro. I'm a, I'm a ass purist, bro. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a purist, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like as a kind like a comedian. Yeah. Like you not a uh that's yeah, ass ha- a BBL sword, is like a hack joke a hack uh, comedian. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you just you stealing. Yeah. Like if you st- here's the thing, no, no disrespect. <laughs> I I double tap the yams that are that are fictitious too. Yeah. But as far as me wifing you down, me personally, me being an ass purist, man, it, it's kinda go it goes against my religion. You know what I'm saying? Mm, not you know, and nothing wrong know. if a nigga had a wife and she had a BBW, a BBW, a, B, a, a BB, BBL. That's cool, <laughs> man. You watch that little porn shit. Yeah. <laughs> I do, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get nigga, nigga mixed up and shit. Uh, so, a, a BBW. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 Ebony. Oh, uh, I mean a black uh, woman. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Ebony, nigga. <laughs> I don't say yeah. Uh, I mean, if it, too much yeah, bro. If it look natural, you know what I mean, and it ain't so super crazy. Like yeah, maybe so. But like if it's just like too crazy, and you got these big old scars and stuff like that, that's always gonna be in my. What's the male version of a BBL? Hey. We talking about the women. What's what's the BBL? We don't, we, oh, we, you we, we don't have access to that. Nah, the male version. Nah, the male version of the BBL, my nigga. Is spending his last to go to the strip club to throw some ones, or spending yeah. his last just to get that motherfucking chain. You yeah. got a fifteen thousand dollar chain on your neck, but you got twenty dollars in your pocket. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. You can't even fade on the bottle. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. nigga. You trying to still niggas sneak out the nigga, club? Nigga, you got niggas, a BMW and, and you live in an apartment complex. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying when your when your car knows well, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I ain't even gonna tell nobody. Oh, my fault, my fault, nigga. Hey, here's the thing. You know what I mean? He said, what? I got a nice loft. Oh, you got a nice loft, though. It's a loft, nigga. No, no, no. The nigga, look, the nigga that got the money, like, the nigga that got the money. You a BBL, nigga? No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. All right, listen, listen. Listen, that could be harsh because here's the thing, nigga. You can it could it could be used, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And or 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 No, it's different. We're in LA, bro. Yeah. You if you it. got a nice apartment and a whip, you doing it. You straight. Yeah, you could be you doing you it. Straight. You straight. You doing it. And really, really all right. Let, let me say, uh, doing it, doing let, it. Let me no, specify. No, let but, me but, specify when I said when I, uh, the nigga that had, I know a nigga that had um and it wasn't just an apartment, let me clarify. Mm-hmm. The nigga had a BMW, right? <laughs> And, he, and this nigga didn't have a couch. Yeah, he had a uh, he had a love seat, which is kind of like a, it's a little baby couch. It's yeah. a love seat. He had a love yeah, seat. Yeah, but them ain't and cool. He, but you know how you get the three set. You get the you get the the, the sofa, uh-huh. the love seat, and then like the little chair. Yeah, there's a recliner. Yeah, he only had the uh, the love seat and not the other parts of the shit. Mm-hmm. And he had an air mattress. You he had a BMW it. with an air mattress. So it's more. So it's not. The, it's not about having an apartment because you can have an uh, expensive ass apartment, nigga. And that's what I'm. Niggas saying. is out here paying mortgages in an apartment. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so let me clarify. It's a nigga. It's basically like, that motherfucking nice. <laughs> oh, he said he said I got a little loft, yeah, my nigga. Yeah. Oh, he ain't like in a house, but it's a loft. A loft could be player. Yeah, you know what I'm saying for sure. Yeah. So it, it's the nigga. Well, I'm saying the nigga that put all his money into his car, but he ain't got shit to uh, to come home to. Yeah. That's what I mean. Okay, I so the male, that's the BBL. Version, the male version of BBLs is when your lifestyle not matching your. Your bank account. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got a nice apartment but no car. Or you got hey. a nice car but your apartment. Because real shit. Some niggas like, hey, bro, yeah. it ain't good to buy right now. Some niggas like, nigga, I got an apartment because they got own a house this way, but I'm renting that bitch out. And I, I'm living in the, uh, I'm renting this apartment, but I got I own some property already. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So let me fall back on the niggas that got, that got BMWs and ain't got apartments, <laughs> nigga. I ain't judging, nigga, because yeah. I don't know your life, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. Uh, nah. Yeah, that's hella yeah. funny. We've yeah. been talking about all type of crazy shit. All kinds uh, of crazy shit. Are y'all sure. still tuned in? Y'all enjoying this? Oh, y'all fucking with it, man? Damn. Put a comment. Let us know. We talking kickback, about ignorant shit too much. It's Thug Mansion. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, the yeah. kickback. We just yeah, nigga. We got Oakland and motherfucking South Central and, this, and the and the SCO, nigga. Oh, oh man. Yeah, the old school SCO, nigga. The old school, school SCO, nigga. Fresco, Fresco man. California. Man. It's called yeah. the city. San Francisco. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we didn't call it the city when I was up there, nigga. They did. They did. But like, it was the SCO. It was Frisco. Frisco. Oh, and sure. I fuck with the, the term Frisco. I'm just trying to keep yeah. people updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the Boy, city. Gotta keep yeah, yeah. Gotta the keep city is updated. You know bro. what? So, so what's funny? So I lived in New York, right? Mm-hmm. And when I used to say I was from the city, that's when I was. Maybe from Manhattan they, and shit. They're, they're like, okay. hold on, we the city. Exactly. So you know what I mean, and then yeah. I learned real quick. Like, and every downtown yeah. is the city. Every city I go to, they be like, exactly. "You headed to the city?" Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that, I used to be thinking of San Francisco never, niggas out there. That's why I never looked at it like as the city, right? Because right. it's like, you know, how home. can I tell somebody where I'm from? You know what I mean when I when I travel and shit like that. And you, like for us, 
you know, you say Bay Area, right? Bay Area motherfuckers, you know what I mean? But like San Francisco, you could say San Francisco. Oakland, you could say Oakland. But I, if you no, I City, learned. I learned. You can't say Oakland everywhere. Not Where? everywhere. No. Well, people, because it, they got, I a, they got to a Oakland and Texas. It's been so many people oh. that be like, I don't know where that's. Like, they, they don't. Really, really, they California, really don't Bay Area. They they don't everybody know knows San Francisco, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. Black people know where Oakland is. Right, right, right. And yeah. it's some people, you go deep in the South, it's some people that don't know where Oakland is. They just know right. LA because of true. movies and shit. Yeah, they know yeah. LA and San Francisco. You see that's the I'm only saying? two cities yeah. they know in California. Yeah, that's California. the only cities they yeah, really that's right, know. Yeah, that's right, that's right. In a grand scale. So that's You tell a nigga you from Watts, they're going to be Watts. Yeah. But exactly. What the fuck? But they might know that shit from the movies. But maybe. In order for us to, like, the Bay Area, and I said this before, in order for us to, like, compete with a lot Los Angeles, you have to say the Bay Area, right? Just like when you say LA, but knowing you from a like Compton. Compton yeah. is its own city. You yeah. can't say Compton. You oh. say LA because it's the county. We need more movies, you know what I mean? bro. It's not LA. Need more movies. Yeah, we need LA more Yankee because movies. movies, bro. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I jump in. You know what I mean? You know, straight up. Film hey. Yeah, let's Jamal talk, Chula. let's talk about oh, film making shit. Hey, yeah, I'm with it. Talk, I'm with it, nigga. It was happening. Yeah, so, so look, so your production value is very high on Thank your you, bro. YouTube videos. It's it's incredible, right? I appreciate it. How did you get the money to shoot these high quality skits? That took me a while, bro. I'm mean, now when I first started, I you know I was a DP first. I was shooting uh, sketches for damn I mean, everybody, every black comedian. Mm-hmm. That's doing their thing now. Shout out to all of my niggas. The Clayton, what a DP the is, beats. is a cinematographer. Yeah, basically for y'all niggas to know, yeah. a cameraman. A cameraman. I was a yeah. cameraman for a lot of comedians doing sketches for years, mm-hmm. from 2010 up until 2017, uh, just to uh, make a little bread. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Wasn't making that much money. I was charging like fifteen thousand an hour. My first year doing the shit, it was free. Mm-hmm. As a stand-up comic, I know a gang of comics. Hey, bro, I shoot your sketches for free, bro. Just to get, just to get the practice yeah. and the end to let y'all niggas know what I can do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that first year I did it, and in 2011 I was like, bro, I'm charging 15 bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. That's super cheap, Hell right? Yeah. But at the time I had a, I was a still I had a full time job, and I was still shooting. Where you was working at? I was a teacher, nigga. A, what? A substitute teacher, man. Your big wow. black ass was yeah, a teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep niggas alive. Right, right, yeah, I, I yeah. Know, yeah. Right? I, baby, my my, 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 my classroom was quiet in the motherfucker, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I did yeah. shit for four years, man. I, I, I threw three up, nigga. Four years, man. <laughs> I, I did, yeah, what, four uh, years, man. What grade level? Uh, ninth and twelfth. Wow, yeah, so you very school. educated. A little bit, man. What the cow, man? You know what I'm saying? I got a little, got a little brains on me, man. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. Yeah, man. So I did that for uh for four years, and then I then I did security. Yeah. Then I went on tour and started doing bodyguard work on tour and shit. I know it, nigga. Huge difference, bro. Huge difference, my <laughs> you nigga. You went from a teacher to be yeah, serious. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You a <clears throat> nigga, you a super nigga. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Anything. No, it's man. Inspired, I, I teach you history, nigga, and I whoop your ass. I Thank make you planes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know how to make a plane. I know yeah. how to drive cars, buses, yeah. teach right. security, gang bangs. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, man. Uh, you got being the um. An actor, uh, an aspiring actor, and shit like that. You gotta have them odd jobs. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. some niggas wait tables, drive like limos and Play shit over. Yeah, so I was a uh, I was a personal trainer a hundred pounds ago. You know what I'm saying, let y'all niggas know a hundred pounds ago, nigga then got fat. But nah, I mean, still yoked up. I mean, I, I'm in there a little bit, a little chuff, a little chubby mm-hmm. buff. You know what I mean? Sure. You know, a little mixture, nigga. Yeah. Uh, so um, I was a personal trainer for years. Then I was a substitute teacher, and then I became a bodyguard. And then bodyguard took me away from L.A. I'm all over the country now, but I'm there for, I'm going for like two months. But I come back, I got a little cushion financially to where I can just really pursue the comedy, really pursue writing and directing and shit. So in 2017 is where I really started going hard with the uh, with the um, sketches. Wow. Yeah. So like, um, so pretending to act and then pretending to production, obviously you have your own production company and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you ever see yourself, you know, venturing off into being like, you know, are you are you doing auditions for like, you know, for roles and yeah. stuff like that? Yeah. And, and yeah. are you are you uh are you trying to make a, like a movie? Yeah, you know what for I mean? Sure. Absolutely. Shit like that on, on like on a big scale. Mm-hmm. You know, shit like that. The goal my goal my, my end goal was to it is to um act and direct my own films. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, so uh, write, di- write, direct, and act in my own films. Yeah, because yeah, current, cool. aren't you on the Upshaws with yeah. Mike Epps? I did an episode there. I did an episode did in episode. season one. Yeah, that, that shit was, was fun dope. as hell, man. Yeah, yeah I, I was, it. I was happy to see you on yeah, there. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Mike, man. Yeah, dope, yeah. man. He gave me opportunity. I, I auditioned for them, him and Wanda Sykes, and um, I got it, man. And we had fun that day. 
You know what I'm saying? We shot, I think it was two days. So you do you get a lot of opportunities off of the platform you created yeah. and these people reach out to you or yeah. do you do a lot of auditions and I've, I've, the I've done of it? I've done less auditions now that I've been having some success on my own. I did, I got my agent in 2009 and I was auditioning for TV commercials for for years and years, doing stuff here and there. Nothing, nothing really to build my career off of though. I never was able to build a savings by working. I was now I wouldn't consider myself a working actor. I always had a real job and I'm auditioning because I, I either I didn't get them enough or I just didn't book enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I started doing my own shit in 2017, putting myself in the front in front of the camera every every day, every week, every month. Yeah. And that's when I remember I said I was gonna I was gonna keep working until something happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now I kinda put myself in a position to where I walk into sometimes when I walk into audition, they they might oh Hey, okay, you're the big guy. You're 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 Big J, right? Big J, yeah, Big J. Okay, so I go into already knowing that they know, um, they know who I am. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's a blessing that I kind of I kind of cultivated that over the years. You know what I'm saying? Mm. This having so much content online that's getting spread around to where anywhere I go now, folks recognize me. At first, I remember doing sketches in 2015, 16, with nobody fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I wasn't consistent though either. I wasn't consistent. Consistency. When I when I said fuck this shit, man, I'm gonna do this shit every day. I'm gonna shoot a I'm gonna shoot a sketch every day. If 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 I got somebody to help the camera, I'm a I'm a shoot. And that drove that drove you to do skits every day because the auditioning stuff was inconsistent. and You couldn't depend on that, so you that, like build yeah. up your own foundation. Yeah, because I was waiting. You know what I'm saying yeah, a, lot, yeah. a lot of actors be waiting. Yeah, yeah. Now, try, trying to break into the industry is like tough. Like, yeah. Like me, me getting into acting. You know, I got the big opportunity. You know, for Last Black Man in San Francisco with Mike Epps, Tashina Arnold, Danny mm -hmm. Glover, so forth, so on. But I wasn't ready and prepared. I didn't have an agent. I didn't know nothing about film in general. But I always wanted to get into film. I just didn't know how to. I didn't exactly. know exactly. A lot of all. people don't know. So yeah. It was always about like, how am I going to make my own shit? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm thinking like, nigga, I gotta buy these cameras, I gotta nah. do all of these things. When there's really an easier route, but there ain't no, you know, there ain't no direction to that route. You know, right. even trying to get to that route, like you still gotta feed your family. You still, yeah, got, you know, all this other yeah. stuff. You still got life to pay for. Yeah, you nah. still got life to pay for and shit like that. That's the know? hard part. Yeah, that's the hard part, right? Yeah. Is it how is it expensive to shoot like uh, yeah. independent skits like how you do? So no, but uh, what, what you have to have is a team. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna keep it a hundred, bro. When I first started, uh, shout out to my boy Clayton. My, my first sketch I shot that kind of blew my um, blew my brand up was Tiberius, the hood hitman. Yeah. That was my first sketch. I, I shot that in 2017, and it went viral. With it hit like a million in three days. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That, that, that's the, when I discovered you. I appreciate it, my yeah. nigga. Hell yeah, that's that's dope. And um, but the person that held the camera was the first introduction. What what to do? I'm, I'm the big homie Tiberius. My nigga Clayton Thomas held the uh, camera. Shout out Clayton. Shout out to my nigga Clayton Thomas. That's a good dude right there. Yeah, really he didn't even know him. nothing about cameras, but I said, bro, I'm a, I'm a focus it up for you. All you, all you got to do is hold it. I didn't even have a tripod for him. He was holding it. She can have you, my nigga. Yeah, so I'm fucking up, doing the sketches, doing the takes, the two or three, four, five, six takes, mm -hmm. and he shot that shit. And it took me like three weeks to get that one video done because I didn't have nobody to shoot for me. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to being the cameraman. I'm so used to being a oh. nigga shoot for everybody. Yeah. Don't nobody know how to use these cameras. They everybody doing their phone shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ain't nothing wrong with that because you use what you got. Yeah. And niggas can blow up on their phone. Hell you know yeah. You went to school for this shit. Yeah. Like, this is the way that you do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right. So as much as like so, you say it's not expensive, but I think a lot of people don't look at it like that. They need to get over that hump. So they they want to buy that red, but then they'll don't never buy see red. themselves. Well, I mean that type yeah. of uh, like quality. Le quality no, no, no. Of, like, no, buy a red. Like, don't yeah. buy a red off top. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. That, but that's how, that's how motherfuckers be it. thinking. I worked then, my way up to that shit. And, but motherfuckers ain't used to having four, five thousand dollars just in their pocket to I do know. that. You know, know what I mean? Yeah. So then motherfuckers don't do it because they don't know how they gonna it's so make far -fetched. money off of it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of far-fetched. Unless it's like your, your passion and something that you're yeah. really into, then you're gonna take those sacrifices to do yeah. so. I did, that, uh, that's what you did. Nah, for sure. When I had, when I first started, excuse me, shooting every day, I had a, I had a, a Canon 7D. That's an old, at the time it was an old camera. <clears throat> excuse me. And, um, how much you pay for it? Three hundred dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. My homegirl, shout out to the, um, Desire. She had, she was she about to pawn that bitch. Mm -hmm. She about to pawn it. And I was like, how much you gonna pawn it for? She was on the phone with the dude. He'll give me three hundred dollars for it. Cool. I'm about to go pawn this shit. I said, well, shit, three hundred dollars. I'll give that to you right now. 
Now she had a she was trying to get a better camera because she's a photographer, and so she had enough money to get it once she got this three hundred dollars. That would put her over the top to where she can get all the shit she needed. So I paid her three hundred dollars. She gave me the camera. It's, it, it works perfectly, but it's old. Yeah. It's an old ass camera. Um, and the lens uh, I had was like a, a old lens I borrowed from my homeboy that was losing his focus. The focus ring was it was it was breaking. Oh. It was slowly breaking. And I had a mic that I got from my other homeboy. I just never gave it back to him. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It yeah. was an old ass mic that he wasn't even tripping off because he had got new equipment. Yeah. So he never asked me for it back. So I never gave it back. Yeah. It had a hiss on it. A, s- a hiss. Yeah. So if you listen to my 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 first. 20, 30, 40, 50 sketches, you hear that hiss, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But that's what all I had to use, and I shot. Now, now, mind you, I had a better camera than that. I had newer equipment than that, too, because I was already DPing for other people. But I mean, in my mind, I'm like, nah, nigga, I don't need that super, sh- I don't need the, the better cameras. I'm going to do, do my shit with this one camera. Wow, so you would say, what's more important, quality or consistency? Consistency, for sure. And creativity. Yeah, crazy. you know what I'm saying, and just understanding to um, what set myself apart. With I went to film school, but you don't have to. Yeah, I know niggas is cold as fuck with the directing, with the writing. They never went to school at all, so yeah. it's you don't have to go to school. I just happened to go to school for this shit, yeah. and so I understand story, how to break down, how to literally say one line, you say one line, I say one line, you say the next line, I say another line, and you cut us off and say this line, but you don't cut each other off when you're filming it. Yeah, because now you're overlapping. Mm-hmm. But in edit, you you make the conversation sound like a conversation when you edit the shit. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand that. And so right. did you edit? You edit? Yeah, I edited all my shit up to until, this day. Yeah, if I I shot over five hundred sketches, I probably edited four hundred sketches. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So right now, do you got a uh, you got a main cameraman? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that's that's all I was. I'm like, man, who who's shooting all of this shit? You and it, 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 over the last couple years, my shit looks even better is because of him. Yeah. Yeah. That's for dope. sure. I know what I'm doing when I know how to do everything. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm directing is well, what I'm good at. That's my specialty. The writing and then the, um acting. Even I'm getting better at that. Mm-hmm. But if I had to choose which one I feel comfortable doing right now, is acting and directing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lights. I can edit. I can edit the film too. But uh, the the uh, the quality of the quality of color, <clears throat> color grade and all that shit. The graphics. That's yeah, not like, my specialty. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I can edit. I, I can chop up a sketch. I can chop up a movie even. I can edit a movie and send it to a, a, a special effects guy. So why why did you choose to do a lot of skits on YouTube and chop them down, a lot of them, versus trying to create one movie? Yeah, it, perfect. That's a great question. My nigga's thinking Lewis Belt. Dope with the question. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Nah, for real shit, because mm-hmm. you don't have no fan base yet. Mm-hmm. How, you, how long have you been doing comedy? 11 years. Boom. Let's say in your first year, you say, I'm going to do a comedy special. Come on. Ain't nobody gonna come see you. Your family and your niggas will. Yeah. For sure, but you gotta build that. So I noticed that I didn't have no fan base. So why would I do a movie, especially if, if it's not a big motion picture, if it's not a a, a, a studio film? Yeah. Studio is gonna make sure people come see it. They're gonna, they're gonna they spend got, they got millions and they're gonna advertise it and yeah, market it. And distribution. But when and you stuff indi- like that. Right. But when you're independent, you know what I'm saying? And you uh, don't have no, uh, and you're selling out the trunk of your car, that's basically what we're doing. When you yeah, shoot, exactly. You do social media. Is you you build a fan base from a thousand followers to two thousand to you know what I'm saying? You might even start off with twenty followers. Yeah. I mean, I remember back in the day when I was happy to have thirty views. Oh nigga, thirty motherfuckers see my shit. Hell yeah, <laughs> I promise you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a million views, a million of followers on on, on YouTube, <clears throat> that's a blessing. I'm super excited to have that, but it took me a minute to get there. And I took it I just took it day by day. You know what I'm saying? So um a movie is what I'm doing now. You know I'm, yeah. I'm writing a film now Me and my boy Kent um, Am I gonna be in it? You can <laughs> and, and, and I'm, Am I, I gonna be in it? I'm, 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 I, ain't, I ain't just saying that Because here's the thing I'm, I'm trying to bring This hood good comedy back bro Oh you know if it's hood and comedy I gotta be in it That's what yeah. I'm saying I, I, I ask people shit on camera yeah. Cause if you shoot the movie And I'm not in it I'm gonna pull it up to me, nigga. Nigga frog. Yeah. Hey, but, hey, <laughs> hey but we have to make it happen Cause here's the thing My goal is to put As many niggas as I can on bro mm-hmm. Even though, even though like, I've been knowing you for, We've been knowing each other For some years now mm-hmm. I've like, seen each other in passing And whatnot. But like I've been seeing you You're funny nigga You're funny as fuck Appreciate you know that what I'm saying? For yeah. sure So my, and me personally and everybody, everybody that knows me In this comedy game Knows that nigga I, I, Damn near almost Fuck with everybody so far If you see my sketches They might not be In every single sketch But I'm gonna find a way To go get some of the homies That I came up with You know yeah. what I'm saying Yeah and that, so, that was another question I was gonna say how, how you do your casting Like you know what I mean Cause I, I see 
different various faces and women, yeah. you know, stuff like that. I like, had to build. I built that shit too. I'm keep it hundred. Yeah. When I first started, nigga, um, I had a couple of sketches I did years ago. Shout out to uh, Raina, Raina Amaya. She from the Bay too. Oh, okay. You know okay. She's a comedian. Um, but she might have moved back to the Bay before by the time you came down here. And, um, really? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you a picture of her. Okay. But yeah, she from the Bay. She cool as fuck. And she was in one of my first sketches I did probably twelve years ago. You know what I'm saying? So certain comment, something certain comedian homegirls I knew, Aronda Browning, you know what I'm saying? Uh so people who I knew, T- Tangerine is my nigga from for years. So I started with the people who fucked with me. At first, when you first to get somebody to come around for free, nigga, yeah. Right. That's almost impossible. Right. Especially in LA, nigga. Yeah. Now here's the thing. Um, it started off with just a few homies. I'm saying so my boy Ken I ran into him. I've been knowing him for since um during comedy I've been knowing him just in passing once again I see him at the gym one time we just chop it up he showed me the sketch this this web series he'd been doing I said oh shit nigga you do you shoot I said yeah man I'm, I'm, I shot this web series oh nigga we need the link though cause that's what I do but I can't find other comedians to do shit outside of just doing stand up mm. I ain't a, we gonna do stand up forever nigga mm. gonna, I'm gonna do, do, do I'm gonna do stand up forever yeah. but I'm a filmmaker too yeah. so I, I met him he said, he said, you come to the house, nigga. Come to the house to shoot some shit. So that's the first, he was my, the first nigga I can get to hold the camera for me anytime I ask him for it. And that's a blessing. You can't get that nowhere. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I didn't have no bread. When I first started this shit, I was broke <laughs> as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Outside of, I was living off my savings from working security all, over the years through doing touring. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if I didn't, I didn't have a nine to five. So that was a blessing. I was able to wake up every day and go to work. I could pay my bills. I could pay for my car and shit like that. And I can just focus. I don't have to do. I don't have to teach no more. I can just focus on this shit. Yeah, because that's that's hard to stay consistent. Yeah, I know you done went through a few teams, probably. Nah, nah. Here's the thing. They didn't stay. They that, stayed. That's the down. thing, bro. That's the thing, man. Um, me and my nigga uh, Ken Edwin TV, my nigga Troy. You know what I'm saying? And Minx and my nigga Ali. Ali not even a comedian or an actor. He a producer, but he my nigga. So he was just down for the cause. He's the type of nigga. He's a selfless ass nigga, bro. And you and you got you you pray for those type of men, Hell those type yeah. of people, women, women or men Fair in your enough. life. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Like niggas are like, bro, I love what you're doing, bro. I respect what you're doing. I see you need this. I got you. I'll hold the camera. Just tell me how to use this motherfucker. I'ma help you. And so I would I would call him, bro. What you doing? Shit, yeah, nigga. I got a studio, I got a studio session with some clients. Nigga at eight, but I'm I'm pretty much free all day. What, you mind pulling up? Yeah, I pull up until 7, then I leave. Cool. I got, now I'm going to shoot two sketches in that time. Minx, yeah. my nigga Minx. I met this nigga online, you know what I'm saying, um, through IG. Wow. A young nigga, remind me of myself, just a younger nigga going hard um, with his own content in L.A., but it was hard to get the homies around. Don't, don't nobody around in L.A. in the hood do what he do. They'll come by it for a little bit. After a while, nigga, where the smoke at? Nigga, where the hoes at? Yeah. Nah, nigga, I want to shoot these sketches. N- them niggas don't do that. So mm-hmm. he was outside in L.A. not knowing what to do. When he met me, I'm in the valley now. And nigga, move up to the valley. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Nigga, just break his lease on this apartment. And I'm I'm, in, I'm I'm over there where all the niggas, or whoever is creating, I want to be over there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how it built me, him, Ali, my nigga Ken. And uh, we, nigga, uh, I don't have to pay niggas to shoot for me. They don't got to pay me. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the that's part, nigga. That's the hard part. Yeah, and niggas exactly. understand that. I promise you on my I life, bro. I need charging for that's, shit. That's yeah. it, huh? Yeah, like, that's the part niggas don't get. Like, nigga, I charge for this. You charge for this. All right, nigga, let's do it. even exchange. Yeah, especially yeah. when you, you pay. I didn't have no money. I couldn't pay nobody to shoot for me. Yeah. I couldn't pay nobody to edit for me, so I edited it myself. But I can't shoot me by myself. I got to be right. in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. So I asked my nigga Ken, Troy, Minx, bro. Whichever one that wasn't busy that day, can you shoot for me today? And can, can you shoot for, for me tomorrow? And can you and can you shoot for me on Wednesday? And I'll shoot for you on Thursday. I'll shoot for you Saturday. I, you know what I'm saying? Oh. And so we never had to pay for a, a cameraman. I taught this nigga Minx how to shoot. Now he shoot damn near better than me. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I I taught Ali how to shoot. You know what I'm saying? He a, he's a he's a mastermind in the in the in the boot in the studio because he's a producer. Uh-huh. When it comes to cameras, I taught him how to use the camera. Now he knows what he's doing. He got me in focus. He got the camera angle right. Everything is cool. And it, and and them niggas want to learn. They want we want to get better. That's the only way I got. I was able to drop so many videos all the time for free. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I paid these niggas and my services back to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? And a lot of niggas don't get that. But when the niggas, money come back, how did y'all bust that down? Everybody make their own individual That's the thing. money. Hell yeah, nigga. Yep. Yeah, you make your individual. You got your money. page. Like, I got my when page. When you need me, I'm 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 there for you. You yep. know what I mean? It's and like, that's it's the like thing. Even it's like 
saying that we we all trying to you know figure it out and a lot of it is based off of like you know partnership too like mm -hmm. this is my partner I fuck with him I love your vision you know you fuck with mine okay we we kicking it we just chilling know what I mean oh yeah Lou, Lou you need me to pull up or Sim you need me to pull up like yeah. you know what I mean and just doing it like that when you see motherfuckers have their own visions and stuff like that but you I want to help you as much as I can help you exactly and, and, and you no want to help me as when much as you can help me you yeah. know what I mean so shit like that where it's like egoless yeah. when it's time for you to shoot for them niggas don't slack be yeah, there, bro. Be there. Don't be the air. Because the homie, I'll call a nigga at 9 in the morning. Like, bro, can you come at 2? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you busy? Nah, I'm busy right now, right now but I could I could be free by 1. So I'll pull up at 2. I got you. And they can shoot for me from 2 to 6. That's four hours. And he not slacking. So when he, when he call me, I could be about to do something. Like, ah. But if I have to do it, then that's different. Yeah. But I'm like, I know how important it is for him to shoot for me. So I know how important it is for me to shoot for him. So, hey, nigga, hey, bro, can you pull up tomorrow at, at 3? Yeah, I got you. I'll shoot for you. I'll shoot for you from three to eight. Nigga, and fuck it, I'm there. And everybody and I'm, make their own money. Everybody got their own page. Everybody got monetized like back to back. I got monetized first, and Troy got monetized, and then nigga Ken did, then then um then Minx did. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's special, bro. Yeah. That's special. Give a round of applause for your yeah. team. Nah, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Shout out to the team, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. A, and, that, and that's why I feel like we we, we were able to excel. And, and speed the process up because it was everybody was selfless. Was nobody tripping? And it's not a conflict of interest. Nah. What nah. you mean? Meaning that everybody, because shout out to your team, but you the biggest public figure mm -hmm. out of that situation. So right. it never came. Like I feel like it's very rare when it's like and the jealousy and shit like that. That's true. But nah, we didn't. We didn't have that. And we should. We don't have that now. I was chilling with my nigga Ken. Before I got here, remember I said I was shooting. Yeah. I, I mean, me and him at, at the studio shooting. It's my nigga. We we we, we made the same nigga. Nigga, six years later, rewriting the movie together. I think that's, that's dope that's, as I fuck. But you got, like it's it. a blessing, bro. And it's, it's a lot that's of not, really a blessing. Not, I promise you, I ain't trying to be cliche, but think about it, bro. It, it's not. It's some niggas that really love you, but they don't have it in their mindset and their heart to just sacrifice their time and effort for you on a regular basis over the years, over the years. You know what I'm saying? But they learning too. They learn. He's learning. I'm learning. We getting better. I promise you. His page is monetized because he he don't have to pay. And this thing is about to get married. But when I first met him, he was getting he was engaged and he was getting ready for his wedding. He got to pay for that shit. That nigga driving Lyft and shit, hustling, getting bread. Yeah. He can't sit at that time. His wife, his fiance ain't gonna be sitting there allowing him to go pay some nigga to help him shoot some shit that he ain't making the money off of yet. Yeah. But he ain't gonna worry about that. He got somebody that's gonna shoot it for free. Yeah. I saw it for his first probably his first. Hundred sketches was free. I paid this. You know what I'm saying? My first hundred sketches was free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me longer than that, probably two, three hundred sketches. But and you was wise enough to go straight to like as a team, y'all always wise enough to go straight to YouTube instead of Instagram and nah, all we that. You was on Instagram first, bro. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I feel like that's what I was wrong. First and, yeah. And then it's I told like, the homies, okay, "Hey, nigga, you show them. They finally do. the money finally here. Yeah. I promise you, I was like, I'm gonna keep shooting sketches and dropping the shit until I make some money doing it. I was doing brand deals here and there for two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Nothing major that you can really go. You know what I'm saying? Save up for. But it would help you pay the bills and shit like that. Then when, when YouTube hit, um, I noticed I was on YouTube and, and my page was monetized. I didn't even know it. I just I made a page and I was on YouTube, but I wasn't I wasn't for I wasn't putting shit on YouTube because I didn't have no fan base there. Exactly. Was nobody fucking with me. They was fucking with me on IG mm -hmm. and a little bit on Facebook. Mm -hmm. you know 2017. 17. Yeah. Yep. And then I realized I was monetized on Facebook. I'm like, on YouTube. I was like, what the fuck? It says six pennies, my nigga. Zero point zero six. Yeah. I said, oh, six cents? I'm cool with that. I'm a hustler, nigga. So if I can make six cents, I can make 60 cents. Then I can make six dollars. Yeah. Mm. Then I can make 60 dollars. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I remember, I was like, bro, when I get my first thousand dollars, hell yeah, I'm going to take that money up out the little account. Nah, I waited. I waited a little bit, a little bit longer. Like, I don't need it. My right roommate now. at the time, my nigga Nate Jackson, he was like, nigga, wait till you get 10,000, dog. Wait till you get 10,000 dollars, and then you take it out. I was like, I got to pay bills, nigga. Okay, <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, then, then, then um, once the money was there, then they made. I was already hustling hard. I was, I was already shooting sketches weekly, daily, and putting shit out. But I can see the growth. The more you put in there, it helps you. It motivates you to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we like nigga, let's keep going even harder. So we shooting from eleven o'clock in the morning, sometimes ten o'clock in the morning to like eight at night, and then we go across the street, nigga, and grab a little Caesar pizza, bro. Cause we didn't have no money yet. Yeah. We saw we saw the money coming, but it was in the account still. You yeah, gotta that make shit a, gotta build. You gotta up. make it a certain amount before yeah. you can touch it. You know what yeah, saying? to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know all that. Yeah, yeah. So we was like, nigga, let's keep going. And we, we used to have a meeting every Sunday. 
We sat down, hey, bro. This is because, bro. I was I've been spending too many years being broke, being talented and broke, my nigga. That's right. a hard. That's the frustrating part. Man. As a comedian, you know how that is, nigga. Oh my mama, be talented and broke, bro. That shit is traumatizing. Facts. Man, it really. No is. one, yeah, yeah. So we was like, bro, we gotta. This is the, we finally. This is it. This is the time that, especially me. I told myself, nigga, I'm gonna keep doing this shit until I make I make some money doing this shit financially. I, I graduated from college with a film degree. From uh, Cal at in two thousand and four, I didn't make no money until uh, two thousand seventeen. No real money, no real yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. So I can be like, man, my degree finally paid off. Yeah, I didn't make that shit until like two thousand and uh, almost nineteen. So I started in twenty seventeen. I was broke as hell. Um, I was just uh, shoot. I was, I love doing this shit, and I saw the fan base growing. I saw people fucking with it. And then, but I still was broke for the year and a half, nigga. I was for the first year and a half. Oh, you, you big John, nigga. The fame come first. The fame come first, nigga. Fam, come the, the fame come the first, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Broke as hell, yeah. nigga. I'm, a, I'm, nigga. I'm. It's. I got four hundred seventy five dollars to my name, nigga, because I didn't put everything into this, nigga. Yeah. And and Brenda's due, and I'm three days behind. Right. Got to make it happen. So I was still doing. Excuse me, I was still doing editing jobs. Like editing job, people would send me they they, they films or they short films or their music video and I'll put that I would edit that shit for some bread and while I was still shooting my shit. Damn. Hustle, my nigga. And I asked the homies, they would come down, they would walk down the hallway in my apartment complex in my apartment and see me at the computer like this, nigga. Those nigga. Three, four, five in the morning, sun coming up, I'm about to drop this video. I dropped the video at eight thirty in the morning and I go to sleep, wake up at eleven forty five and So that's again. that's how you was able to be like you really became like a, a internet superstar, but you you really a stand up comedian, but from a grand scale, I didn't know you was a stand up comedian until I really started doing my research. Oh yeah. I thought you were just like uh mm -hmm. like a fucking I don't even know because I would YouTube fame is different from social media sketch, like Instagram like fame because I respected your like sketches and fame versus like just like TikTokers or yeah, Instagrammers. I feel, you. I feel. You. Am I tripping for saying that? You're not. You, uh, it, it, I get what you're saying. A lot of I did narrative. Like there's yeah, there's narrative. there's yeah. narrative is different from like it's, it's camera fair. action. You got you got the camera on you. You're doing this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's narrative, but it's more like narrative homemade video ish. Yeah, and homemade that's and that's cracking shit. too. That's yeah. cracking too. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You like shout out to like a country Wayne. Country Wayne's probably yeah. the biggest nigga doing the oh, shit. Man. Exactly. I the love nigga making he making I, I watched him every day until he stopped putting the shit on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But every day the but whole I, story I kinda is like, just camera phone shit. Yeah. But that works for him. And it yeah. works for him and this is working for his uh, and it seemed like he putting his whole team on. It's like commu yeah. a community over there. Exactly. And he making major bread and he's spreading the wealth. Yeah. Uh, so, I see I more looked at you more in the um like a Melvin Gregg space. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I always respect Melvin, Melvin Gregg before he even became like nah, nah, nah. who he is now. Nah, that nigga, His sketch was just like, I'm like, this nigga ain't no internet nigga. Nah, he, he bro, I, mean? I, I met the dude a couple times. I know him through some other homies, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We've crossed paths before. I, I've been in his studio before working on with other guys, and this nigga be in there by himself building a fucking set. Yeah. I seen the nigga build a set. And we didn't know each other. I, I said I, I, we knew each other like from seeing each other in the gym and shit like that. Maybe seeing each other sketches before, but I'm in there because the homie is his friend, his partner. So we shooting, a, we shooting a whole web series over here, and I see him in between takes. That nigga drilling shit and slacking down some wood and build. I'm like, this nigga building a whole set by himself. Him yeah. and his cousin. Like you can see the difference He's between a, people that's work. hustling it and then some people that's making it like a craft. Yeah. And that's how I looked at. That's how I look at your your stuff, Melvin Gregg, and a, a few others. Yeah. Uh, King Batch. It was yeah. some people. I'm like, no, nah, they uh, they they actors. Cause uh, <laughs> these niggas ain't right. no internet niggas, bro. Yeah, the me? internet. I, I I took it. Um, I went to Sundance right in 2017. That's really I didn't tell y'all this. In 2017, in January of 2017, I went to Sundance with my partner, my boy from college. He was in. He had, uh he produced a film that he starred in, and he won that bitch. He won all of Sundance. Sure. A, fe a feature Feature? Yeah what, 2017 2017 okay. Crown Heights Crown Heights Oh yeah Crown Heights yeah. Oh that was a phenomenal Yeah movie, nigga bro. I gotta check and it out Crown the, Heights is wrong He put his time in, He put a lot of effort Into that film bro Cause I remember When he first told me About it three years before He showed me the documentary Of it It's a true story uh -huh. And then I swear Crown Heights Is almost similar to my story 
Oh, okay. Is that right? oh, okay. I yeah. want to check it out. Yeah, then. damn. Now check out Crown Heights, bro. It, 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 it's super relatable. It's so many, um, especially black men that's in prison. Yeah, uh, he, like, yeah. he really went guilty, through it. Uh, not guilty of it at all. Yeah, people always say, nigga, everybody, everybody innocent. No, nigga, just a lot of a lot of niggas in prison that should be there. Nah, for real. No, I mean, that was, that was like me. I had life in prison. I had fifty life in prison. I got framed for murder in uh, two thousand and eighteen. Damn. And it took me seven years to ultimately come home off of it. But when I sat in prison, nigga, I knew hella motherfuckers. My nigga, who really just didn't do it like niggas tell their war, war stories like they true shit like what, what actually happened yeah I mean, you know but I, I seem to find more niggas in jail my nigga who really didn't do it who either didn't tell on the nigga who really did yeah. it or, or yeah. they didn't do what they was charged for they right, 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 was right. there but they didn't do what they was charged for and shit like that and, yeah. uh, Crown Heights was a f- phenomenal movie I, yeah. I learned about it where can I watch it at uh, oh, Amazon Prime yeah, Amazon okay Prime. I'm gonna check it out yeah, yeah. I, I, I found out about it the year after cause our film was at a Sundance Last Black Man in San Francisco and we won Best oh, Director shit. and shit like that oh shit so then I, st- I got into I gotta watch that I know about it but I haven't watched yeah, that yet yeah, got, and it I did got, win the next year yeah mm-hmm. we won it the next year so I got fully into uh, into film at that point but I wanted to kind of like I had to learn film that's like the the day that's I went there. to I did Sundance was the day I committed myself all the way to film so you like, went to, so you went there oh, obviously I go was every in year. it nigga I, I was in this last year I was, I was late this last, last year too dang yeah, I, I, yeah. I came the last few days I watched the Steph Curry documentary I watched uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it Magazine Dreams Magazine Dreams yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I missed the shit like I hit Jonathan Majors whatever but uh, yeah. you know but I ended up missing it I was I was networking man trying to like nah, with as you should. executives if you get a chance nigga thing. You go go to Sundance. Yeah. For real? This year coming up. Yeah, let's, January. Let's that should be January. Miami, I'm right? Going. No, nah, it's, in Utah. it's in Utah. Park Utah? City, Utah. Park City. Yeah, it's cold mm-hmm. as fuck. It's Bring your boots, nigga. But it's worth it, though. It, it should is. I go with y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 yeah, bullshit. Yeah. Because I'm going again. This, this, yeah. this okay. January, for sure. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, okay. and and it's cracking. It's cracking, though. Okay. It's, it's I, a, I, got a, I got a group, too, uh, the Woodside group I, I could connect you to, too. Please it's, do. It's basically a group of filmmakers, and they got, like, hella houses and shit like that. You could pick what, what spot you're going to stay in, and then they got, like, a central base where you got all these creatives that just, like, yeah. like come. They writers, director, producers, mm-hmm. all types of shit. Right. I got a film that, I'm, uh, that I act in that uh, being submitted this year too. Dope. Hopefully, you know that motherfucker. Get oh yeah, it will be, man. Us. Blessings, man. Yeah, yeah. So that you think that's the that's the wave, or everybody got a different route to success? Everybody got a different, a different route. Different yeah. Route. Well, yeah. Jay, well, keep, comedy is one thing that we got to keep doing because ultimately that that's gonna make you. It, 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 it's gonna keep you happy because you love being on stage, but it's gonna make you money for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Comedy, you could be fucking seventy five. Yeah, and, and get on stage. You know what I'm saying? If they yeah. want to, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like Dick Gregory. You know what I'm saying? Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah. He was he was doing comedy until he passed away. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? I love Dick so, Gregory, bro. I yeah. smart as hell. Oh yeah, yeah real man. nigga. Super, super for sure. So Sundance is what sparked it. I got back home. I was like, bro, I've been hustling, but I've been hustling not the wrong way, but not strong enough, not the yeah. right way. Mm-hmm. And so I need to get. I need. I need to. Cause I was doing. I was writing a lot of drama. A lot yeah. of drama shit, you yep. know what I'm saying? So I was like, comedy, comedy and fights and twerking is the big shit on, on the internet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Twerking, fights, and funny shit. Mm. So I was like, I'm, I'm already a stand-up comic. I can write comedy all day. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I wrote some shit for ADD years ago that they, 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 they didn't use. Shout out to ADD. Love Everybody y'all. wrote for you know ADD. Saying? But, <laughs> but rest in peace, my nigga Teddy Ray, man. Teddy Ray, my nigga. <laughs> hell yeah. That's a rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got yeah, Teddy. Yeah, I got yeah, little Teddy. Little Teddy. Little Teddy. Yeah. Little Teddy. Yeah. This is the smallest Teddy ever going to be, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah, love you, Teddy. Hell uh, yeah, man. Shout out to that brother, man. Yeah, rest in peace, Teddy Super Ray, talented. man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, um, I came home and I was like, bro, my my nigga just want Sundance, bro. Yeah. And me and him went to school together. We was talking about doing this film shit since we was 17 to 18 years old. Mm-hmm. And I was like, bro, I got I got to focus. I got to focus, tap in and really like be uncomfortable. Yeah. You could be in broke. Straight up. It's hard. I don't have no kids yet, so it was easy for me to be broke by myself. Yeah. Right. So if you got children, I understand that that's a, that's a different plight, you know what I'm saying? Or a different right. situation situation. But like, I was able to go hard for it as long as I could till the money came. Mm-hmm. And when the money came, that's when I was able to like dive, I can spread, be spread it out. Or right, you get your team, you get your team, you get your team. We gonna still, we still, we still family. We still doing our shit. But that, that's when I, I stopped writing. I mean, I, I stopped editing my shit. I hired somebody to edit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that, that it takes a lot, a lot of time out of me doing that shit myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You so, gotta, you gotta choose time or money. 
Yeah, nah, certain for things real. for sure. It, it's it's crazy. Our, our stories is similar with the Sundance thing. After Sundance, man, it was like because I was doing music mm-hmm. you know, on some shit, and I had this you know this this character within the music. Like the music was like me, mm-hmm. but then the character, the Tim Millie Millie character, was this persona bigger than life that people you know grasped to. That was like it was it was funny, and it was like you know you are this person, but I wasn't able to separate that person into like who I am as a creative okay. and as just Jamal True Love. But when I went to Sundance and I seen that Jamal True Love was bigger than this character, you know what I mean, on who I yeah. was and my story, I had to put the character to the side in the music to the side and say, fuck that. I'm going to get myself uncomfortable and jump yeah. all the way yeah, into Yeah, you like got to do it. That's, yeah. that's part and it, of And it take time. Elevating. It take yeah, yeah. time like a motherfucker on some shit. To I do. Get but those sta- stages. That time is with you. You got to, you got to, uh, what the nigga, uh, um, so this nigga say the, the, the beautiful struggle. Yeah, my Hell nigga yeah. Mozzie. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 yeah, so the beautiful struggle, bro. You got to have that shit, man. Um, Because that's it takes time. But while you that time is where you learn your and hone your, your skill. Yeah. And so just like as comics, as, as sometimes niggas be afraid to get on stage. They funny as fuck. Me. But you gotta, <laughs> but you gotta be, but you gotta get on there and, and just and just understand you fucking being be comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah, for you know real. What I'm saying you ain't gonna be funny off top, nigga. When you first started playing basketball, you wasn't nice off, off top. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why should it be any different? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like most majority of the uh, this is the last question too? Uh, it's all love. Do you feel like a lot of the internet comedians, like influencers, that because a lot of this new era yeah. is influenced by social media. Mm-hmm. Um, influencers Challenges You know what I'm saying TikToks. All of that A lot of the comedians Don't want to jump into stand up I, I didn't talk to a lot of uh, Comedians From like Not comedians But like Internet Personalities yes. Personalities, personalities. Mm-hmm. From where I'm from Back home And I be trying to help them But it's hard to help these niggas Because they think They too good to do stand up But eventually Every social media star I know That ran to that stage Mm-hmm Cause here's the thing: if you have a following, and you have a brand, and people like to hear what you have to say, the next step is to go to a platform where you a stage, a podium, or whatever, and and, and express your thoughts, and express your funny, and they're gonna pay to come see you there too. So it's that's what to monetize your funny. Especially another, that's another and way. With your fans. Could you be yeah. a comedian without performing on stage? <sighs> yeah, this not a stand up comedian. I think stand up right. literally mean you on stage. Right. You I feel like performance. if you're a comedian, you perform on stage. You're not a comedian unless unless you do stand up. But you know what? To to keep it a buck, a lot of people like, you know, look at you, like you only a comedian if you're in movies too, right? So no, like, you're not an actor until you're in movies. I, I, you're no, not a you're superstar not, nah, until you're in movies. I, exactly. But so people who don't know like stand up comedy or know like the like for instance, you know like. You, Lewis posts like you know at Sonny Bo or mm-hmm. Lewis posts like certain shit on his page and stuff like that but they don't know Lewis as this stand up comedian mm-hmm. you know what I mean a lot of the fans because they not going but now if they seen Lewis Belt in this movie then Lewis Belt is a comedian you know and, and that's how I was introduced to like uh, comedians by way of movies like Martin and Jamie Foxx and but they you know, was comedians like that. I know right. but then I knew them as actors before I knew them as what's something so they I go hand to hand yeah no, it's like course. they're, it's they're comedians that act like one thing I realize is like I always been a comedian but I just jumped into the acting world for instance like I did a lot of sketches but I still was performing stand up comedy right but I didn't consider myself an actor until I really became in the acting world. Yeah. Like, like I felt like it was just promotion for my comedy. Yeah. So, Skits. let me ask you this. So, uh, as a comedian, uh, you saying you only a comedian if you're on stage. Yes. I, I promise you I used to think the same thing. And it's still, I'm not saying it's not true. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean, if you look up the word comedian, what do you, or what do you call someone that's funny as hell, makes people laugh, uh-huh. And what do you call them? An actor. A comedian. Okay. But, uh, a comedian. Terry Crews, is Terry Crews a comedian or he's an actor? I hear you. Is uh, I hear you on that too. Is Vince Vaughn this an actor? Or or is it some or some people some people call him a comedic actor. Uh, Will Smith was a comedic actor on Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Like Will Ferrell. Nigga's an actor. But, but 
I still think they're comedians, though. They're not doing stand-up and shit like that, but it, you could still be a comedian and not be do stand-up. Can you be a boxer and not get in the ring? Hmm. You can know how to fight. Yeah, kind of. No, no. But not a, a boxer, because the sport is different. boxing. Yeah, exactly. Outside of the ring, you're just fighting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm saying you're a fighter. What's the difference between a comedian and a person that's being funny on videos? I think a a comedian is... Well, we have to look it up. I'm going to look it up right now. Right. Because if I say a comedian, does it mean... I I believe... Now, believe me, I'm okay with saying you ain't a comedian if you ain't on stage. I'm cool with that. I ain't Mm -hmm. ain't going against you on that. But I'm I'm, I'm curious to uh, comedian by definition. What y'all think? That's, yeah, but on movies insane. you're reading the script versus stand up you ain't reading no damn script. Well, but you could not be all, not all the you time. You can, yeah. yeah, yeah but, but um, not, not all the an time. entertainer, a comedian, an entertainer whose act is designed to make an audience laugh. Because even as a stand up, it's still an audience act. laugh. I know it's still an act though. You like you putting on an act as a comedian, regardless. Even if you're up on stage or if you're front of, in front of a camera. Here's the thing. Usually, you're putting on the act. this is what I this, you're acting. You're an actor. So but, like me, right? I'm I'm funny on a, a regular day to day, right? Right. But then I can't get up on this fucking stage and be like this, you know, and be that. Cause you're not a comedian. You a <laughs> nigga that's funny. But I know. So, <laughs> right. I know. So, right. so that means you have to get up on the stage mm-hmm. and act. You have to act your funny out. If you can't act your funny out, then you're not a comedian. Nah, he, he, I, I get I get what you're saying. I think that uh, as a comedian, based off that, it, it didn't say you have to be on stage, but they use words like act. Exactly. They use words like, act can be like your comedy act. Yeah, your stage. comedy act. Because all, all this And also says stuff like audience. You know what I'm saying? Audience means usually live. So Yeah, but yeah, your audience. That's what I'm saying. But your, I think I, you're a comedic actor if you're Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but if you are uh, actual Funny on stage telling You're jokes. You're a comedian. You're a comedian. Oh, okay, I get. I get. Comedic what you're actor. Yeah. It's still comedy, but yeah. it's comedic actor and it's comedian. I think comedian yeah. is the profession of telling jokes on stage to an audience. Yeah, I, 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 you know I believe that too. Because what what made me want to ask you is because you have a you, like all the people that became famous on social media. We're the first generation of this. Right. Like, mm-hmm. Nobody ever got famous on the internet before us. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I've been talking to a lot of people in the generation, my generation and under, and it's just that's the that's the topic. And I'm like, bro, yeah. niggas ain't comedians, bro. You're a comedian actor. Performing. Yeah, because all the successful people we name that's funny, that's actors, they say mm-hmm. they're not comedians. I talked to Ted Cruz in real life. He said, I'm not a comedian. You yeah. ask Will Smith if he's a comedian, he's going to say no. Right. Yeah. So it's just people that's not successful in acting that's yeah. saying they're a comedian. You're only yeah. saying that because you're not successful as an actor or you're not successful as a comedian. You're just saying shit. Yeah, you're just, just saying, saying shit. shit. Yeah, uh, so yeah, if, uh, a lot of times people say these days it's this comedian and they bio and they do they do funny sketches. Right. They ain't yes. never been on stage before in their life. You know so, what I'm saying? But when you, you talk to actors, st- nigga, I talk to Melvin, Gr- Melvin Gregg and them, mm-hmm. I'm an actor. Right. And I yeah. walked into their world I done read scripts with Melvin and all them. I'm like, boy, y'all really actors. Nah, like, for yeah. real. I'm in they, I be feeling like I'm in they world and I be like really be depending on them. Like, yeah. hey, how you think I should come out this? Or how should I read this? Should I use my humor here? Or I'm coaching. Yeah. But they yeah. come to my shows, they be like, bro, I cannot do that, yeah. bro. Like, I'm it's, so a, it's, a, it's a way yeah. different muscle. It's, it's totally different, different muscle. It's it a different muscle, man. It is. You compare but, kickboxing to boxing. Right. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. It's you, street uh, fight you, to boxing. Uh, um, kickboxing to slap boxing or, or mm. boxing to like uh, a foot racing and some shit like that. Yeah, some other. It's shit. different. Like a lot of times, a lot of comics, a lot of times, actors would get on stage. One thing actors have that non comedians that become comedians don't have. Mm-hmm. I can't speak for every comedian, but when nigga, I was nervous as fuck when I got on stage. Yes, when I first started, you know what I'm saying. I wasn't a seasoned actor. I wasn't even an actor yet. I was a young nigga just trying to start doing comedy. Right. And I got on stage. You couldn't tell I was nervous unless you paid attention to me. I was always fucking with my pocket and shit, fucking with the mic, the mm-hmm. mic stand and shit. Um, but I wasn't stuttering or fucking up. But I was like nervous up there, uh, or more anxious than anything. I, I had never done it before, so I was trying to get my fucking uh, trying to be comfortable. Actors, they get on stage. They're not nervous at all. They're so mm-hmm. used to performing. They ain't funny yet though. Oh. 
Oh, Most of them don't be funny at all. Yeah. They be getting they no laughs. Out of, you gotta go but they be on stage lines. for 10 minutes. They got 10 minutes, they gonna do that full 10. Yep. You know That's why T.I. was able to start and be good. Not yeah. like, he didn't start yeah. off being good. But he's being comfortable. Comfortable. That's what you yeah. got to be because first. Because he yeah. know how to act. Before you, and yeah. he know how to perform. He been on he stage. He know how to perform. He been on stages just as many times as comedians have. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In front of fucking an uh, amphitheater full of people. Yeah. So, and T.I. is an actor too. Yeah, so he, he know how to do live so, performance so, and So act. him getting in front of 300 people at a comedy club, like, how y'all doing, man? He yeah. already know he's already won too. Right. Yep. You, he's not gonna feel stupid. He's not gonna right. be dumb. But at the end of the day, he's a multi-millionaire. That, that helps. And he's a, a lot fucking too. urban legend, nigga. That, that, that helps. Name a lot. Album. For sure. I think yeah. if you if you get past the nerves, like my my first time like acting, I I was definitely nervous. But then, nigga, I was drunk the night before, like partying on some shit. I didn't take it as serious. Cause I'm like, I got this shit right. But then because I knew like I'm good. I'm a people's person. Okay, and I'm trying to figure this shit out. You know, I was. On I love New York, and but before going on like I love New York, right? I didn't I didn't know what a set looked like, right. nigga. You got cameras over here, right. and then it's like hold that's on, a whole different, like yeah. how do you do, you know? Bro, I, I be mean? feeling it's like an amateur when I be yeah. acting, like it's yeah. all good because you don't get your laughs fast. Yeah, it's like even if you, you don't know if it's low, working, you while you shooting, yeah. everybody quiet, and you then, don't know if it's working. Once your once yeah. your scene over, everybody laugh. <laughs> Yeah. That was a good job. So when I'm acting, I'm thinking I'm doing bad because nobody laughing. And they right. just looking at me. Right. Then the camera's cutting them. Right. Good yeah. I'm like, Ooh, I thought I fucked the scene. Yeah. You thought you bombing right yeah. now. But is he, a comedy, you get you get gratification right away. Yeah, it's a gratification. And with acting comedy, you don't know. Cause they, the goal is to be quiet while you're acting. Yeah. And then yeah, then you, you you get the laughs afterwards. And you get the other lads when you see the, the final product. You be, and oh, shit. Her, like when I seen myself uh, when I was on house party and I was just like, that was my first time like ever being nerd. I, I do it even when I'm on TV. Oh, right. it's always nerve wracking seeing yeah, myself always, on TV. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, on, and I don't even go that's normal. Acting. No, TV, that's normal, acting. nigga. Even on stage, watching myself, like, oh, okay, here we go, here we go. I'm watching myself. Yeah. I but now I'm used to it. I've been doing this for so long. Yeah. But at the beginning, my nigga, I used to hate hearing my voice, bro. All that shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But now I'm used to it. Really critique. Yeah. And yourself. I don't give a fuck now. I, I, when yeah. If I don't, if I bomb, I, I'll tell a joke that's been killing. Uh, if I'm on tour, you do a joke that's killing fucking two, three, four, five sets in a row. And that third, that that, that fifth night, yeah, it, it don't hit. hit. It don't hit. Yeah, yeah. you be like, I, I'm the type of nigga, uh, or 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 you just didn't deliver it to that tough, that tough crowd. I don't believe in tough crowd. I, tough crowds, yes, yeah, it's a real it's thing. Tough crowds, yeah, 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 but I don't believe in all oh, the niggas and laugh, nigga. I'm funny, nigga. I, you wasn't funny to them. Yeah, you wouldn't exactly. find it to them. Shit, I'll be like, I'm funny. Fuck them. Nah, I get that. <laughs> I get that. Nigga, I'll be ready to double back. Let me go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go I'm, back. I'm with that. I'm with that. Because I know I'm him. Yeah, yeah. don't get it twisted, yeah. nigga. Them you know don't, don't know I'm him. I'm talking yeah, y'all yeah, must right. be sleeping this motherfucker. Yeah. Y'all you know <laughs> yeah. yeah. got attitudes and some shit. Yeah. Yeah. I just had to go get some pussy. That shit happened to me, nigga. And the same night, nigga, I did two shows. The first show, smack that bitch around. The second show, my other nigga, nigga that opened up for me, not opened up for me, but then, then the comments that went before me, mm -hmm. they was doing well. Mm -hmm. I'm headlining. I come out there. I do my shit. They came to see me, and yeah. they laughing, but they giggling. Yeah. It ain't like the first show. So to me, nigga, if I, I, I'm hard on myself, nigga. I bomb, nigga. Yeah. On my own motherfucking yeah. show. Me too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The same nigga that wasn't laughing is like I got one of them too was at the end of the show, like standing up laughing and clapping and shit. I'm like, nigga, y'all, nah, fuck all that. Y'all should have gave me the laughs when I said the jokes, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you doing, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, uh, but nah, man. Um, that shit, it's hard, whether on camera or on stage, but I do notice when I do get the homies that do um, comedy, not all of them, but some, some people, when they like, oh, let me, let me get in some shit. All right, I got you. They got that camera pop on, niggas say action. They be like, damn, I forgot my shit. I yeah, forgot. Exactly. Ah, it happens. It happens. You, you got to remember those lines. It's just, but as a comic, yeah, I tell three, all the comics, four takes like, nigga, this ain't three, shit compared to, to what you, out. right. Yep. This ain't shit compared to what you be doing on that stage, bro. I know I be there. I be doing yep. this shit for 12 years. Nigga. If you can conquer that stage, bro, which is the hardest art form, the hardest live performance, in my opinion. For you real. know what I'm saying? Mine too. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that stand up shit, bro. Um, but then on camera you get you get nervous when the cameras get on you. I get that, bro. But shake that shit off like you do on stage, bro. Yeah. And the beauty of it, you can do it over, over yeah. and over and over again. Yeah. Take one, and take two, take three. What level of production it is because yeah, and, and if you ain't the lead, you, yeah, you nigga, know what I'm talking and, about. Yeah, nigga, yeah. but I happened, nigga, it happened to me. You got about three takes to figure it happened out. To yeah, you? You, it happened, nigga. It did, bro. Shout out to Family Reunion on Netflix, bro. They 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 made me feel like they didn't care. Yeah, but I'm so used to 
being on my own set, mm -hmm. and it's easy when you're directing yourself. Exactly. You know? When you got somebody else directing you, and you got to give them what they want from you. Yeah. And, and, and you got to remember your lines, and there's a, a scene say where some crazy the shit. scene for me was just fucked up, because my scene is, I got to walk across the room in the sitcom, sit down, and keep the same lines, have a sip of the drink, and then the wife comes over too, and then I got to say my lines while he walks over and I fuck up. They got to we got to re reverse all the way back to the to, to the yep. one to the one. Yeah, and do it all so over again. All right so it's not like I'm on camera and I fuck the line up and I say it right. Or I, or I can say it again. Or cool, say it again. Say it three three times. Cool. Nah, we gotta we gotta start. Gotta from start everybody got to do their yeah, job nigga, over you again. You gotta pour the drink in. Up, I'm fucking up. up. I'm not the lead. Nigga, I'm the guest star. Yes, that shit's nerve wracking. I hate. I it reminds me of school. Man. It feel like school. Nigga. Like all right. It's yeah. your time to read. It's like, yeah. hold on, nigga. Let me. This a big it, ass it, paragraph. It's, it's really up to the director <laughs> yeah. to really make I'm you. I'm slowing the pat the right. little shit down. It'll make you feel like me. shit. I be feeling like shit. I be like, goddamn. And that's why. That's why. That's why it's important to have a good director, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I watched the master class of uh, fucking. Um, uh, why am I? Uh, yeah, why like am I forgetting this brain for it, yeah. yeah, I'm having brain for Is it Ron uh, Howard? Nah, nah. Fucking black uh, and white. Spike Lee, right? Spike Lee, Spike Lee, yeah. And I got so much game from it, right? So three takes, like, you want to make sure to stay on budget. I'm thinking, you know. The time is money. Yeah, money. Time is money, yeah. too. But you can always give somebody three takes, but it's really about the comfortability, making that person comfortable to fuck up the first time, to maybe even fuck up the second time a little bit, but to execute it on the third. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, when I, I did a movie called Deadlock, right? I'm acting with Bruce motherfucking Willis. Nigga, my shit. nerves is fucking bad, right. like, on mm -hmm. some shit, right? And the director, you know, he wasn't directing me. Like, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I, I got to go directly to these lines. But I'm really like, I will say something different or act a little bit different. Every director but different. I don't want, mm -hmm. But I don't want to fuck up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they be like, you know, on some shit like, oh, we'll never call him again. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's a real like business, that. bro. It, nah. it, it, it like, is. Like, nigga sure. walk in at like, I done, I done people like, okay, this acting is a business, bro. Because it it's is. like, you can't walk in and be like, Oh, I got it all. Bro, people in that motherfucker yeah, really reading and in their rooms reading shit. And then people be, okay, I'm ready. Say they she. Like, oh, okay, let me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. everybody there is on the clock. Everybody getting yeah, paid. Yeah. It's like that's a job. production, nigga. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. yeah, it's production. Ain't no favors you know in that motherfucker. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Nah, niggas uh, there for a you reason. Gonna, you gonna be treated like a star because you got, you know, you yeah. do yeah. your makeup and they got They clothes. want you. They want, they, gonna treat, they gonna treat you great. But nigga, you gotta perform like a star. Yeah, yeah. You better yeah. do your motherfucking thing. Yeah. We done did this nigga makeup. Now this nigga forgetting fuck his yeah. lines. Fuck this nigga fucking his lines. In the rehearsal, nigga, you was, you was fucking you was Johnny Depp, nigga. Yeah. yeah, nigga, you forgetting shit <laughs> now. Action, you better. <laughs> oh, can you pass me the... Oh, damn, what's my line, please? <laughs> yeah, <Fuck>. right. <laughs> nigga, it, it's quiet as fuck. Yeah. Ain't no... It's okay. It's all right. Nah, nigga. Yeah. They'll be like... He's just quiet. Then the, the, the director come over like, hey, man. I hate those talks, nigga. Ah, I don't get them I often. Know. I don't get them often. I be like, oh, I'm doing okay. They fucking with me. And one yeah. time you get a, hey, yo, Lewis. Yeah. You all right, man. <laughs> See, my dumb ass, I be getting those sets, and I be like, Turn into an actor. Now you gotta yeah, calm like, down. The directors be like, be yourself. Be you. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm like, like, all right. Nigga. That's if true. Niggas, That's what I do good. Yeah. If yeah. I be on that motherfucking. So, Tom, what's your name? Yeah. <laughs> no, what's your <laughs> name? Be yourself. Yeah, what's be yourself. Tom, what's Yo, your what? name? Well, yeah. Good job. That, that's, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what they're for, bro. Yeah. 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 Nigga, nigga see you on, I guarantee you some niggas see you on stage and be like, oh, yeah, we can we can use this guy. This nigga could work. I but so you get there, don't time. change that up. Don't change yeah, that nah, up. Nah, for yeah. sure. This nigga's gonna, he's, he's gonna be huge. And, nah, like, he's a star, bro. Soon, for sure. This nigga's a star. Like, instantly. And I tell him, I try to direct him, you know, to... Focus on that, you know, more. But you know, he he got a stand up. He let us stand. Yeah. Hey, I hey, love that shit, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm, to. A, I'm really. Well, what, what, you doing it the right way? Once, that, even once you get that first joint, joint, yeah, it's gonna everybody gonna want you, bro. Yeah, everybody gonna want you. Sure. For yeah. sure. Ask Mike. Yeah, for sure. Ask Mike. Yep. Oh, so don't because even Kevin Hart said in this for his, his this is his second run. His first yeah. run, he was a young nigga, like twenty something years old, twenty four yeah. or something like that. He he booked a pilot. He did the pilot, and he kind of stopped fucking with comedy. For some years, and then he went broke, and then he went, man, I gotta, come, I gotta come back to comedy, and they don't really know me now. It's been two, three, four years. Yeah, I gotta kind of re regain all the all the love I got, and and, and now he, he he now he's a movie star, and he's a fucking uh, comedy star too, stand up. Yeah. He he, he said, I, I'll never turn too. my back on comedy. So you you not, not saying 
don't fo- focus on comedy because that's just gonna pay you pay your bills and, and keep you sharp. But nigga, you a star too, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you so you gotta get general. you an agent. That's why I'm you like, already when have you one. Tap in with and, Big oh, yeah. Ja and all my acting niggas because yeah. I'm like, man, I gotta. I gotta this really be in they space more. Yeah, yeah. you gotta yeah. Yeah. Cause I enjoy myself. I like acting a lot. Yeah, yeah that's dope, man. You good at it. Yeah, yeah, man. We we didn't have a hell of an episode. This didn't even feel. I'm glad you've been a wonderful guest. It don't hey, feel like no interview, man. man. Nah, it's all love, right? Yeah. This shit was dope. Appreciate you coming through, man. Hell Chop yeah, your game yeah. with us, man. If you yep. want to tell your people how to follow you, all the ooh wop. I always had the man, uh, Big Ja. Follow me on all platforms. Big Ja Two G's. B I G G J A H. Get at me, man. Yes, Lord. To the max. Yes, Lord. Hell yeah. True love. Jamal, true love on all platforms. That's J A M A L T R U L O V E. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. And the only Lewis Belt on IG, man. You understand me? Uh, all the platforms, man. Lewis Belt. Just tap in. And appreciate y'all for tapping into this interview. Yes, indeed. This podcast, man. You understand me? This Thug Mansion of the West Coast, man. A place where real niggas can kick it, man. And don't got to get all dressed up and be Hollywood. You know what I'm talking right. about? Yeah, yeah man. It's hey, the Kelly know. Kickback. Thank you. I love everybody. Peace. Hey, you know, it's funny. I used to.